Total Extreme Wrestling WWE 2011. We are doing Backlash today, our first brand exclusive pay per view in the series. It's going to be interesting to see how this one goes because we haven't done a brand exclusive pay per view before, as I said, but uh, obviously, you know, being Backlash, it's going to be a Raw exclusive pay per view. Could turn out really well, could turn out really bad. I don't exactly know, but I'm looking forward to seeing how it does. Fair, of course. Welcome everybody to the stream. This should be uh, an interesting one, as I said. We've got uh, uh, we're week one of April. We've got to get to week three, so we've got two weeks of shows to book, including one extra SmackDown as well, which should not be a problem. We should be able to get there pretty comfortably. Quick little recap: We go back WrestleMania 27, hundred rated show, fifty-seven thousand attendance. Randy Orton versus John Morrison and Brock Lesnar was the main event, ninety-nine rated. Best match of the card was Triple H. Defeating Shawn Michaels for the WWE title, 100. To follow it up, we had, obviously, a draft. We had a draft. We changed the rosters completely. Now we've got, got new rosters. We've got Raw, ECW, and SmackDown. All new different styles. So I probably, myself, I'm going to forget who on, who's on what brand because it's been, you know, what, a week now. So I need to get a bit of a refresher myself. But uh, we'll probably do that in a moment. But um, for Raw, we had an 87-rated show. Stephanie... Announced her number one draft pick, which was Randy Orton. Um, we caught up Mason Ryan and Ryback. They beat Jimmy Wang Yang and Yoshitatsu. Todd Grisham did an uh, interview with Heath Slater and Justin Gabriel, who are now together. So Heath Slater got the call up as well. Mickey James beat Melissa. Shawn Michaels wanted his rematch despite Triple H changing brands. Chris Masters beat Brian Kendrick. Mark Henry demands some respect in a title shot. And Mark Henry then beat Kane. And John Cena came out and approached Mark Henry to stare down. ECW was actually a better rated show, which um, is quite interesting, isn't it? Um, we had Paul Heyman announcing that Mick Foley is the new GM and commentator for ECW. Mr. Kennedy got in the face of the new GM. Sheamus, he's a part of ECW now. He beat Davey Richards. The Usos got the call up from developmental as well. They beat the Dude Busters. Seth Rollins and Bobby Roode, they teamed up to take down the world's greatest tag team. Looks like we're going to do a little bit of a tag team storyline between Rollins and Roode, perhaps with a turn coming at the end of it. And Mr. Kennedy in the main event beat the big show, thanks to, I believe, Chris Jericho interfering. So, that was ECW. Welcome, everyone. We'll be doing something like the pipe bomb anytime soon. Ah, uh, look, CM Punk's already the, the man. He's already the top guy, so... You know, I mean, you could do something like it, but I don't know if there's really any need to. It probably doesn't make as much sense. Future Harden, welcome. Oh no, welcome. Killer Meme Star, welcome, man. Viking Atlas, what's up, man? Yeah, a bit of a different time slot for this stream. Normally, we do the 2011 um, in the morning slash afternoon, but. Um, Try to, I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to change it to this time period. So, um, if you're wondering why this is happening now, it's because this is probably the plan going forward to change the, all streams this time slot. Um, Cesaro, Christian, and Karma, and The Undertaker. Okay, Restless Court. Grant, welcome to the stream, man. I thought you'd be gone by now. You normally say some, one thing and then... Uh, Pop out of here. When are you going to play Fortnite? Stop playing World of Warcraft and come play Fortnite. Uh, even though I'm sick of Fortnite, I actually raised it last night. I, I, I need to stop playing that game. It's pissing me off. Okay. Um, so this is SmackDown. So as we said, we haven't had a SmackDown since the new Switch up. So. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've actually got to change this. This is uh, more... Orton's got the, the championship, not Morrison. I'm not going to change that on your screen because that's I can't be bothered changing the whole screenshot just for a C, but um, just for my own purposes. So we've only got the two, th three feuds at the moment for SmackDown. So Samoa Joe, Cody Rhodes, Trish and Karma, and Orton and Morrison. So we need to start a couple of new ones here to reflect our new roster. So let's have a quick little refresh of who's now on the roster. That always will help. Um, so, 
Booker T, he made the switch. Daniel Bryan, Rhino, R Truth. So SmackDown actually did pretty well. I think they won the draft in the end. Triple H. Um, Fortnite is good but overrated. Uh, I wouldn't say overrated. It's 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 pretty good. Um, Lesnar is a free agent, but um, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do with Lesnar. He came in, he lost the triple threat because he was a pain in the ass. But well, um, Christian. Oh yeah, CM Punk made the switch, so we gotta give CM Punk a top f uh, feud from the get go. Um. I guess CM Punk, hmm, he actually doesn't have that many guys he could face. I mean, he could do a few with The Undertaker. That obviously would be excellent. So, John Morrison's feuding with Randy Orton still. Triple H still feuding with Shawn Michaels. So, you could do CM Punk versus The Undertaker. But I feel like that's a feud that you want to have culminate at a big pay-per-view. And not just, you know, on... Judgment Day or whatever the hell is next. So maybe not. But yeah, not a lot of guys here otherwise. Unless we wanted to try and elevate an art truth or somebody like that. Try and, you know, get him a bit of momentum. It is a step down for CM Punk, but um, it would be something for both guys to do and maybe give R Truth a bit of momentum. Um, so I might do that. Try and elevate R Truth just a little bit. Give CM Punk an opponent for a while. Because I just don't want to do Undertaker and Punk just yet. I want to wait for that. Um, maybe for SummerSlam. Do you know when you're going to upload the next episode of You Just Phone? Um, so, I was meant to do a TW TNA last night. I didn't get around to it. I just didn't feel like playing TW yesterday, that's why I didn't stream, that's why I didn't upload the video, I just didn't feel like playing yesterday. Um, so I might do one of those today, but um, I do have a universe mode that I can do as well, but um, that might be tomorrow or maybe today, whichever one I decide to do, but um, yeah, it's not far away. Jonathan, you want to shout out? Well, what's up man? Welcome. You watched an ad for bits on your phone and never got them, so you wait till next stream to ask my question. We can just ask it now. John Moynihan, welcome. When is WrestleMania? Um, a few weeks ago. Um, so what were the moves for the draft and what brands have previews have missed the last few streams? Well, a lot happened, dude. A lot happened, so... I'm not going to run through the whole thing again, but um, as the stream commences, um, you'll see... You'll see the switches that have been made and see some of the things that have changed. Alright, so I'm going to start off SmackDown. Triple H is the new champion. He appears. Um, John Morrison, CM Punk, and The Undertaker. We'd have another top heel. Brilliant. CM Punk. The Miz is on the show. Okay. So I'm just going to have some of the newcomers and some of the, the remaining SmackDown guys, you know, come into the ring. So, new superstars and current superstars promo. So, basically, everyone, some of the top guys on SmackDown, they're in the ring and they discuss um, the big changes that happened from the draft. And kind of say, like Morrison says, look, if I don't win against Randy, I'm coming for your title, Triple H. CM Punk comes out says, look, you know, I've been champion many, many times. I've been Triple H plenty of times. I can do it again. You know, things like that. You know, a bit of back and forth on the mic. Maybe setting up for a tag match later. I don't know. All right, so Daniel Bryan and, and Rhino are now on this brand. So I'm going to give them a match to start off their campaign. And... I'm going to give see how they go against uh, Chavo and Eric Escobar. Give them a win over these guys. Sleepy, what's up, man? How good is God of War? It's very good. Very good. 
What kind of stipulation would Triple H and Shawn Michaels rematch be? Yeah, that's a good point, considering they had a three stages of hell match at WrestleMania. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, have to think about it. What do you guys? What do you think? What do you think it should be? All right. Um, Cody Rhodes cut a promo on Samoa Joe. So obviously he lost his title against Joe. Michaels is retiring. He he's going into a part time role. He's not retiring, but he's transitioning away from being full time to part time. Alright, um... I'll give Cody Rhodes a victory. Um... Over Booker T. Samoa Joe, put him on commentary. Cody Rhodes, 73 brawl, so I'll make this a brawl match. Will there ever be a fourth championship in ECW? Uh, I don't think we need another title. We've got the tag titles. We've got the hardcore title. We've got the world title. That's enough. The fourth title... It's the same as SmackDown Raw. The fourth title is the women's title in those brands. We don't have women's matches on ECW. So no, there's no need for it. We need to get Edge and Christian a new set of opponents. That's kind of the major thing. Um... I'm going to John Morrison cut a promo on Randy Orton. Keep that feud moving. So, Mia, what's up, man? So, AJ Lee, she's making her debut. Um, she's coming in as a heel. She's got 40 odd pops, so I might give her a win. Um, I guess Eve, she's new. It's really only Maria or. Becky Lynch, they could take that loss. And I might make it Becky Lynch. It probably won't be the best of matches, but... A good way for AJ Lee to debut. AJ Chris versus Bruno. I don't want Bruno losing just yet. That's the only thing. So I might do AJ Chris just promoting themselves. I could add Edge and Christian Edge to this opening promo. And maybe we could do a big eight man tag. So, John Morrison, R Truth, The Undertaker, Triple H, Christian, Edge, CM Punk. The Miz. Big eight man tag to kind of introduce some of the new guys to some of the old, well, not old, but original SmackDown people. Mix them in. And the winner um, might have CM Punk win. He pins R Truth. Because Edgy Christian Punk, Edge and Punk have way more popularity than. Uh, some of those other guys. And I just think getting the heels a win would be a good start. But I might have them, you know, cheat or something to win. Just, be, you know, heal it up a bit. And just kind of, like, let the crowd, let everyone know that the heels arrive, you know, punks arrive, uh, Miz has arrived. Just have them have a good start. And send a bit of a message to, you know, like to Triple H and Morrison and whatever. I swear I changed John Morrison's picture. Um, I hope this doesn't lag. No, all good. Um... Uh, yeah, I swear I ch had changed his picture. No, that's, that's not it. Uh, uh, I swear I had a, a very a, a good one, but... Uh, yeah, I like that one. Alright. So, I think SmackDown's all booked. Oh, we could have gone a couple of minutes over time. We can cut a couple of minutes of the opening promo. And we might just have some of the women compete in the pre-show. Eve can give her a victory over Jillian in the pre-show. 
Um, any other new... Oh, Barrett and Lewington. We, they haven't uh, officially made their debut. We might save that for next week on the so they get on the actual show rather than just on the pre-show. All right. So that, that might do. We will run the show. Oh, we need to do a storytelling, I think. All right. Can you fire Lesnar? You don't think anyone likes him? Why would you fire one of your biggest names in the company? Think about that for no reason. Because, but other than the fact that um, a few people in the stream don't like him. All right, so let's have a look. Our pre-show: fifty-seven, Eve and Jillian, Eve fifty-five, Jillian forty-nine. Hunter Ray for the opening segment. Thank goodness. Um, Ed struggled a bit, so a few people struggled Miz wasn't on the script. I probably should have him on the script, but that's alright. Undertake was good, CM Punk was fantastic, Triple H looked good. That's alright, that's good. It's a good start. Rhino and Eric Escobar and Chavo. It was a pretty good match. Rhino 75, Brian 82. Um, not bad. 65 by Chavo, 55 by Eric. 77 overall. It's actually a lot better than it probably should have been. Cody Rhodes, 87 for his promo. And his match against Booker T was 84. Cody, 86. Booker T, he's definitely declining really badly. 66. Booker's nearly about done. He might not have, you know... I don't know if he'll, like, make it the whole year. He's about cooked. John Morrison, 93 for his promo on Randy. AJ Lee and Becky Lynch. AJ, 46. Becky Lynch, 56. So Becky's much better than AJ Lee at the moment. We gave AJ the win just to kind of start off her SmackDown campaign with a bit of a victory. Engine Christian, their primer hyped themselves up was 90. Just kind of letting everyone know that they're, they're here. They rule this tag division. Main event was good. 95 rated. Morrison Truth take uh, Triple H versus Punk, Miz, Edge, and Christian. Very good. Triple H, 89. Take a 93. Truth was the worst in the match by far. 73. Morrison, 93. Miss 88, Punk 97, Edge 98, Christian 87. So Edge and Punk clearly the best guys on this brand in the moment. But uh, 95 rated matches, very good. And we thought it would be a good match, absolutely. But um, we were able to put our truth in there without things going down too south, thank goodness. 92, 92 overall. That's that's solid. I'm happy about that. It's a good follow up. A good way to you know. Raw and ECW weren't as good this for this first week of the new draft on the new rosters. It takes a bit of time to iron out the kinks and kind of get things going. But um, we had a nice little match there on SmackDown. It makes things a bit easier. Cody Dina? Nah. 33.37 rating. Nice. You have TW 2013. You're currently near SummerSlam. Very good. Very good. Main event's pay-per-view worthy. Yeah, it was. It was. So, Richie Steamboat. He's going to come in. Is he a better heel or face? Absolutely, baby face. A bit like his dad. So, we're going to bring him into the Vel Metal. Um, and the other guy we're going to bring in is uh, this guy, Sami Zayn. You know, you may, you may have heard of him. So, Steamboat can't start working for another week. Wouldn't mind Richie Steamboat moving up in size. I'm not a big fan of the lightweight, but... Um, he's got some good stats, man. He'd be pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Alright, so we might keep on moving along. Uh, anything else to check out? Not really. Let's keep moving. Mania 28 uh, main event needs to be Punk vs. Joe or Punk vs. Taker. Punk and Taker would be really, really good, yeah. Neville believes he's getting he's ready for the call up. Ah, well, come on, Neville. Not yet. Um, Charles Robinson wants a new contract. He's got 84 F ring, which means he can get a new one. Let's give him 10 years. Let's just not mess around. Let's just give him the 10 year deal he wants. Booker T's contract is up. Oh, this makes things interesting, doesn't it? Oh. Do you let him go? Do you let him go? I tell you what, if TNA makes a play for him, I think I might just let him go there. Because he... He's about done. Booker T's about done. 
The only thing you do is you transition him into a color commentator, which would be good, absolutely, but, because he's got 90, 90 color, but, oh man, I, I'd be very tempted just to let him walk. Maybe hope Sami Zayn doesn't become a jobber in this. Very unlikely we'll probably ever see Sami Zayn on the main roster in this play playthrough, depending how long we've got to go, how long we we keep playing after. Booker T for com commentator. So you don't think let him go? You think um, commentator? Because I, I was thinking. If, if TNA offer him a wrestling deal, I might let him go there, but if not, I could obviously offer him a commentary deal, absolutely. Alright. I'll give him a one-year deal. Yeah. And we'll see what TNA offers him, and if they offer him anything good, then we might... Change plans. So El Generico is coming in. He's a 100 bay face, 60 heel. So obviously it's no brainer what he's going to be. Um, and he'll be heading out down to developmental uh, when we can. So the Rock is off to film movie. Okay. Interesting. Um, Becky Bayless doesn't have any clients. I think he, be, thinking Becky Bayless might be just about done. Um, she's kind of like the backstage interview at this point, rather than a manager. Give Booker T some money. For what? <laughs> For what? <laughs> TNA have offered him a contract. Okay. Booker T. 21k, 18 months. So, less time. More time, rather, and less money. Okay. We're going to get 100, any 100 matches today? 100 rated? Well, I think... You never know. Randy Morrison could pull 100 out at the pay-per-view. Hmm. Transition color commentator. Hmm. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at the color commentary team we have now. And at the moment, we've got... Um, well, it's JBL doing it. He's got 88. So Booker T's only slightly above JBL. ECW, we've got Mick Foley, Matt Stryker. Mick Foley's obviously incredible. Matt Stryker, you could probably get rid of him and not be too concerned. Raw, you got Jerry Lawler. So really, Booker T's not that much better than JBL. And, and it already had this adequate experience there. So if you put Booker T in there, would that change much? Rather than JBL... Yeah, it'd go from adequate to very low. And experience is a big factor in rating. So do you really want to restart that again? Or, you know, keep the guy who's basically nearly the same quality? DTR, welcome. Close you got to 100 is a 91 eight-man tag. I uh, Try again. It might have been uh, more of a 95, bro. 95. Um, yeah, I feel like I might let him go to TNA. Let him, if he wants to keep wrestling, he's not going to wrestle my company. He still wants to wrestle, so... Might let him go there. The only issue is, is we lose a top baby face. So, I guess over the next month, we'll have Booker T put over some of the, the baby faces we have on SmackDown. So, I'll take a look. Who could be the good option here? So, let's get rid of the women. Alright, so you've got... Oh, hang on. Okay, let's get rid of them. Alright, so you've got Daniel Bryan, Rhino, R-Truth. R-Truth could certainly use a win. Santino. So really about it. We don't have a lot of... We don't even have any lower mid-cut. Like, don't even have low-end baby faces at all. Hmm... So, Santino, Truth, Rhino, Brian. 
So obviously Brian, I know most of you guys would love to see him get a win. So that might be something. Get Brian a win. Maybe Ryan and Brino. Rhino and Brino. Rhino and Brian. God, I keep saying Brino. Um, maybe give them a victory. Our truth obviously could use a win. So that might be something we do. Heel side of things as well. Um, let's not forget about them. So Riley, Cesaro. Yeah. Okay. Ted DiBiase. Yeah. Okay. So, maybe have Booker T put over a few guys on the way out. Do I call Hassan yet? No. Um, okay, so Raw. So last week Raw, we had basically it was a show to introduce a lot of the new guys to the roster. So this week we might focus a bit more on what the storylines we got going on. So, obviously... Need to start this one. Hardy and Ziggler needs to start. Cena and Mark Henry start a little bit. A little bit more to do with that. Um, yeah, so. We still have Triple H and Shawn Michaels, which is 100 rated. 100 rated at the moment. I'm thinking maybe. I'm thinking maybe Triple H shows up. Triple H comes through the crowd. Comes in to attack Shawn Michaels. Because there's still a lot of bad blood there. So I'm thinking Triple H makes a surprise show showing here. It comes in and gets Shawn Michaels. And then we might have security to get Triple H out of there. So Ryback. Mason Ryan. Um, yeah, Yoshitatsu. Jimmy Wang Yang. Any newcomers? Hit Gus, uh, Gus and Gabriel, he's Slater. Yep. So. So, Sean Michaels is taunting Triple H. Triple H comes from the crowd into the ring. Attacks broken up by C broken up. Okay, so Michaels is in the ring. He's talking a lot of a lot of crap about Triple H. You know how easy he's going to get the belt back, and Triple H, you know, was lucky that he ran to SmackDown. Otherwise, he would be, you know, he'd, you know, he'd be here beating him up right now. You know, and basically, like, okay, if Triple H was here right now, I'd beat the crap out of him, type of thing. Triple H shows up. He's here. He's in the ring. He takes down Shawn Michaels, starts beating the crap out of him, and all the guys from the back break it up. A heated brawl between the two, and Triple H gets the hell out of there. And then I might have... Uh, well, this will be interesting. <laughs> kind of funny, but um, Stephanie... So, Stephanie tells... gets Triple H escorted out of the building. So Stephanie's going to tell her own husband to get the hell out, okay. Because <laughs> she's the GM, so what can you do? Oh, you could do Vince. Nah, well, Stephanie's the GM, makes more sense. So Stephanie tells Triple H to get the hell out of here. And I'll, I'll add Shawn Michaels in that as an off-screen, just to keep advancing the storyline. Um, Bright Boy, welcome. <clears throat> All right, so let's do a tag match. So, Gold Justice could take on the Machine Guns. So this is going to be a feud we're going to do. So they got 63, he's got 62. Machine Guns, I think a bit higher, 68, 67, 65 for Saban. Well, I wouldn't mind... Hurricane getting a win over Chris Saban as a, a surprise win, a flash pin fall. So they get the win, and the machine guns fire back, and they beat them down afterwards because they're pissed off that they lost. So, so that adds a little bit of heat to the feud. It gives us a little bit of something there, rather than that machine guns winning, etc. So machine guns get a bit of heat because they beat them up. 
Lucas with pancakes, welcome. We are on the road to 6k followers, guys. If you can follow the stream, that would be amazing if you haven't already. Uh, Midget Man, one, two, three, four, five. He followed the stream. Thank you very much, man. That's right, we have Ray Mysterio on this brand. Okay. So is Ray in a few? Not at the moment. So Matt Hardy. So we might give Matt Hardy a win to try and get him in contention for this championship. So maybe Matt Hardy. Chris Masters, one on one, and Matt Hardy wins. Put Ziggler on commentary, and then we'll have Matt Hardy challenge Dolph Ziggler for the U.S. title. And maybe he doesn't go on commentary. No, we won't put him on commentary. He challenges for the US title afterwards. The women, we've got Natalia versus Michelle McCool and Layla. So we might give Michelle McCool a win. She can beat uh, Molly Holly pretty easily. Just to make her look good. And then. And then have her taunt Natalia afterwards. Uh, wrong way around. Michelle and Natalia. Have her taunt her afterwards. Uh, and probably need a main event now. Elite, thank you very much for the bits. You're doing a 2016 post draft. You're doing TW post draft save and doing what I think should have happened after the draft. You signed a bunch of guys to the crew, so it's probably best save ever because I usually suck at booking. I lose a ton of people already, eventually just give up. Nice, man. That sounds really good. You got some good guys you just signed there. That's some good gets. The Zunga. The Zuga, sorry. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Great to see you again. Will we see how long I can last? Because it's half past one in the morning. Yeah, I know, I apologize. I, I'm so sorry for the UK guys, but it's just this time slot that I've decided to go with. It's because it it suits me. I normally stream at like 9 or 10 um, a.m. for me. So when I wake up, I stream, I get my stream done for the day, and I go about my day. Um, so it, it's, it help, it's, it's a good slot for me, but I know it's not great for everyone else. So what I'll do is, again, we did a tag match on SmackDown. That worked really well. So we might try something here. And for maybe one night only, Batista and Randy Orton might team up. Actually, no, 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 no. Um, Randy Orton, Mark Henry, maybe? Yeah, and we might have Rey Mysterio team up with John Cena. That'll be interesting. So we'll see how this match goes. So Cena and Henry can mix in a bit there. Randy Orton, he's the champion. He's waiting for Morrison at the pay-per-view. We'll give him... A match up here just to get some momentum building for him. And obviously Cena and Mark Henry kind of feuding over who should be the next number contender. So that's a bit of a, you know, mix mix that in there as well. Um, but I might give Orton the victory just to keep him looking good before the pay-per-view. We don't want him losing with that 100 pop. Keep him strong before the pay-per-view. And that's the, that's the show. Okay. So I like that opening segment. I, I think that'll be a good one. Uh, I think that'll be solid. And also, it gets a lot of our low end guys mixed in there as well. They get a chance to show up and appear. So that should be good. Okay. Okay. Your women's roster is getting really good since you started pushing Karma and Kay Lee. Yeah, well, you look at those women. You know, Karma, she's at 80 popular. I don't know how we did it. I mean, she hasn't lost a match. That that always helps. Well, she lost once. When she, who'd she lose to? She lost a tag match. So she hasn't lost a singles match since coming in. So that always helps. But if you look at her popularity, 60 to 80 in, you know, six months. So that, that was an incredible rise. Really incredible. So we've done really well with her. And obviously, Kaylee as well. She had a great run as well. So she's done really, really well. So yeah, you're right. We've, we've picked a couple of women that have done really well. But... What we do need to do now is we need to get a couple of our babyface girls. We need to move them up like a Mickey James who's nearly at 70. 
it's not too bad. You know, maybe Natalia, get a couple of other women to join them who are babyface, and if we could do that, we'd have a really strong women's division. All right, anyways, let's move on to Monday Night Raw. Have we done a women's match? Yeah, yeah, we did Michelle and Molly. Okay. Um, so 100 rate for the opening segment, as we kind of expected. What's Heath Slater? Heath Slater's trying to turn face. Okay, yep. We'll do that. Needs a few more segments before we, before we execute that. So, 100 rated. So basically what happened... Shawn Michaels is in the ring saying, look, if Triple H is here right now, I'd beat the crap out of him. I'm better than Triple H. And at the pay-per-view, you know, I'm going to prove it, etc., etc. Triple H gets in there and attacks Shawn Michaels. He comes with the crowd. And then Stephanie McMahon tells him to get the hell out of it. Ex escorts him out of the ring. Gold Justice versus Machine Guns. Really good. Hurricane 68, Gold, Ju uh, Gold Dust 62. Chris Saban 89. Shelly... 93 so we had we had gold justice win basically just to i guess get this feud starting get it rolling a bit get get it on the board um because afterwards obviously shelly and seven attack gold uh, uh, gold dust and hurricane gold justice beat them down so it adds a bit of heat to that Broken Matt versus Chris Masters 74. Broken Matt 84, Masters 74. No storyline behind it, so that's probably why it's a little bit less. But um, we gave Matt a win because we want to have him take on Dolph Ziggler. He challenged Dolph Ziggler to a match afterwards as well, 92. So that's a good start to that feud. Michelle and Molly Holly was a squash match. It was what it was. 57 uh, rated. Michelle 66. Molly 45. Michelle McCall then taunted Natalia, just kind of boosting that feud up, or starting that feud, I guess. And the main event! Low storyline here. It's just 80. What? Orton 100, Henry 91, Mysterio 94, John Cena 94. 80. 80. The fuck? Okay. Eighty-five show. All oh, right, that blows my mind. It, even if it had low storyline, the storyline hit was seventy-nine, which isn't amazing, but it's not bad. Even if it's that low, it should have been marked down probably ten points. It should have been at least a ninety-rated match. Fuck. All right. Blows my mind. Kota Abushi. Contract offer from Japan. Booker T. They're offering him another deal. Are they a new deal? Uh, no, that seems to be the same. Maybe I'll put a bit more pressure on them. Maybe try and get a bit more book money for Booker, you know, because I respect Booker. Let's give him a bit more money to come into his way. Matthew, welcome. Is Ray next for world title? Well, I always wanted to do Ray and Randy for the belt. So, we'll probably do John Cena and Randy for a bit. And I know you're probably thinking, oh my god, we're going to see that again. We haven't seen it yet in this series, so it's got to happen at some point. Um, the two guys in the same brand. It's gonna, it's gonna happen at some point. But then afterwards, I don't think Cena. Well, Cena might win the belt. I don't know, maybe. But um, Ray, Ray's definitely gonna get a feud for the belt at some point. Maybe Cena could win it from Randy. Maybe Mark Henry wins it from Cena, and maybe Ray beats Mark Henry for it. Could do that. I'd like to get Batista back there. I'm so annoyed that Batista's popularity is low. We need to get him moving again. Gonna get involved. So I might have a look at um, some of the low-end guys who are involved in that um, that confrontation. Let's just see if there's any change from them. Doesn't seem to be. Ryback, nah, what was he? 46, 47. So he was, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe a slight little boost. Mason Ryan, ooh, he might have gone up, he's 49. Yeah, so a slight little boost for some of these guys. Okay. Yep. I'm, I'm hoping. Yep. So maybe maybe some guys benefit just a touch. 
Not too bad. Not too bad. You'd think the main event would be A- minus or just an A? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. We did that Mark Henry Hall of Pain push. Well, he definitely could do it. I mean, like I said, if you wanted to have Cena win the belt from Orton, Mark Henry wins it from Cena and have Henry kind of dominate, it would be a little bit of a backwards step for Ray to beat him, but you could have that storyline where the underdog overcomes the guy who's been destroying everyone, so you could do something like that, of course. Um, will AJ Lee get over on the mic like Karma did by squashing over women? AJ's got 68 mic, 66 charisma. Now, you could argue that it should be better. Probably the 70s. And I, I wouldn't I wouldn't disagree. But um, she might have to get over from mic skills. She might have to get over from mic skills. Because her ring work isn't up to scratch yet. So I think going forward, I think you're right. We might have a couple more promos than have her wrestle. All right, let's do an ECW. So we still got a couple of weeks of shows to book until we get to uh, our pay view, and good to see the view account rising up. I guess um, everyone was a little bit surprised. Maybe I was streaming, didn't quite get the memo on my Twitter. So if you want to know when I am streaming, make sure you do follow me on Twitter at uh, Bread and Plays. RVD was so high on drugs that he'd be sent home for Christ's sake. RVD. Uh, I'd love to send him back to rehab, but that's just more time wasted we sent him back to rehab I might as well just fire the guy Grispy thank you for the bits who do you think for Triple H's first title challenge or who am I thinking for Triple H's first title challenge on Smackdown after Michael's feet is done any ideas um alright well it could be well he's a face it could be CM Punk but I think we might have CM Punk go away from the title picture just for a little bit um it's possible. Let's have a look. So the, the 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 guys we could use, it could be the Miz. Could be the Miz. You got basically Christian Edge, Punk, the Miz as your top heels. There, they're your main options. Um, you do have Lesnar. He is available. So you could do Lesnar and Triple H, which would be a big match. Um, so yeah, you got you got those options. How did you get Karma's pop up so fast? Well, momentum is everything. Um, I booked Karma the same way that I, bro I booked Brock Lesnar in my 2001 save file. So what I did in that 2001 save file is I, I had Brock Lesnar, uh, not to this extent, but Brock Lesnar had about a 200 match win streak without, you know, 200 matches. He, the only time he ever lost was a, was a tag match and the Battle Royal, the Royal Rumble or whatever. My equivalent Royal Rumble. War, uh, World War Three or whatever that was, whatever they call that Royal Rumble, the 60-man Rumble match in WCW. Yeah. So he had like nearly 200 matches where he won. Singles matches, didn't get beat. Now, Karma, obviously not to that extent. I think she's only had like 20. But Lesnar in that save, so she's had 19 wins, one loss. That only loss was a tag match. So Lesnar in that save, he beat everybody. Um, and his popularity went from zero to about 90 in... Six months. Karma 60 to 80 in about the same period of time, but not as many matches, obviously. Lesnar didn't have 100 matches, 200 matches in six months, but... Yeah, so... Basically, just a win streak can really work. Win streak, and then eventually you beat the right opponent at the end. Karma didn't beat anybody. She didn't beat anyone of note until she won the belt. She's beaten Becky Lynch. She was beating local girls. The only person she beat was Kelly Kelly. And she had already more popularity than Kelly Kelly. Eventually, she beat Mickey James. But when she beat Mickey James, she had more popularity than Mickey James anyways. So by the time she beat Katie Lee, which helped her a little bit, and then and, and Trish Stratus at the end, yes, it exploded her popularity that little bit further. But she already had 70 plus. So basically, the way I did it, win streak, consistently being on TV, dominating her opponents, dominating everyone in her way. And when you have strong menace, dominating someone can really benefit and it really will help your popularity. So, yeah. I guess just winning. 
winning all the time. Now, they get, they're saying that, though, winning, like, you can have Justin Gabriel win 20 matches in a row, and it doesn't mean his popularity is going to go from 50 to 70. But I guess just having, you know, having that strong menace behind it really does help. So if I had him, you know, go for on a win streak, he's at 55 now. You know, if I had him go on a win streak, would he, you know, would he explode? I don't know. I don't think so. Only if he beat the right opponents. Was Karma dominating with her strong menace? Yeah. Boost it up a bit. Last week, ECW, we had Heyman introduce Foley's new commentator. So is Foley, yeah, Foley's set now to be commentator. Last week, he wasn't. Sheamus beat Dave Richards. Mr. Candy beat the Big Show, the main event. So we had something more, again, with Triple A, uh, with Jericho and Big Show. So, we might start off with Chris Jericho and the Big Show this week. Big Show and Jericho renew their rivalry and promo. So, they kind of bring up the old issues that they had because they never really sorted out their issues, they got split away. So they renew that rivalry. They kind of bring up those issues they talk about in the ring. Karma's what Nia Jack should have been. Hmm. Agree. What'd you miss? Um, you've missed two shows. So what's our ECW tag visual line? It's pretty good. Crime Time, Ryder Hawk, and Sabu Dudley's. Do Buses, the Usos, World's Ghost Tag. Okay. Okay. Jero Show, yeah. Well, that needs to be inactive, that team. Okay. So, World's Ghost Tag are currently the tag champions. We have a feud for that. Rude and Rollins. Okay, yeah. So. So, I might have Seth Rollins versus Shelton Benjamin. That would be a good match, wouldn't it? Seth, what's Seth Rollins pop? 70, some some places a bit higher. Shelton's about 76, something like that. 70, well, it's a bit less, 74. So Seth Rollins, Shelton, let's give that 20 minutes. I think it's going to be a really good match. And I'll have Bobby Roode come in and distract Shelton to give Rollins the win. So Rude and Rollins are on the same page at the moment. They're teaming up. You know, they're okay. Their, their friendship is starting to work a little bit. Can you put AJ Lee with Bruno for the manager? That's not a bad idea. Uh, AJ Lee's a heel, though. She's a heel. Homicide can cut a promo on RBD who couldn't be bothered showing up for work today. To make Trent an ECW pet project? Nah. Uh, nah, I haven't got a lot of interest in Trent. What about Broski? Sick. He's got uh, some pops. 63. Stevie Rich is looking like 56. We, we started pushing Riches pretty well, then he's obviously lost his last five. Oof. So he started well last year. He won eight matches in a row. And now he's lost his last five. I guess we've cooled off on his push a bit. His match quality, though, has increased. He's only really losing the top tier names, though, to be fair to him. He's not losing the low end guys. He's just losing the top top guys. Um, What's Sting? Sting's a free agent, that's right. I'm not sure what the hell we're going to do with Sting anymore. We did the Taker match. That's all I really wanted to do before. Um. Kevin Nash, is he, is Kevin Nash, do we re-sign this guy? We must have re-signed him for a few more months. We should probably use Kevin Nash in some capacity before he leaves. Well, Zach and Carly can have a match. What's Carly looking like? 63, so a little bit lower than Zach. I want to push Carly I'm like, Carly I've been trying to get this guy over for the entire series. I just haven't been able to do it. I mean, he's been negative in wins, but at times he's been positive. I just can't seem to get him over. So I'm going to have him 
I'm gonna have it, I'll have him cheat to win over Zach. Maybe I'll just do a feud. So So this could be a little bit of a feud going forward. What's Carlo already involved in the world's greatest attack? Oh, he's feuding with McIntyre. Oh shit, I didn't even see that. Hmm. Um Alright, I'll, I'll I'll add Zach to it. Go to Hawkins as well, may as well. Um Yeah, okay. So Carlito can cheat. And then I'll have I was going to have Drew McIntyre come out for the save, but it'd make more sense for Kurt Hawkins to come out for the save, wouldn't it? So, Zack Ryder can get beaten up a bit more by Carlito after the match. Bit of a cheap shot, and Hawkins can come for the save. Maybe next week we'll do Hawkins versus Carlito. Carlito can beat him. I think maybe we'll, we'll take Drew McIntyre out of that feud. I just think Zack Ryder would be better. Give Drew McIntyre something else to do. Alright, um, Sting vs Triple H, yeah, you could do that, uh, yeah, Sting's a heel, yeah, you could definitely do that, definitely. I guess we could use Sting in some other dream matches, I mean, Taker and Sting isn't the only dream match I guess you could do, there's gotta be more, right, you know, we could use him in a bit more capacity, so you could sing, Sting and Cena, Sting and, um, uh, Randy, you know, a few guys. Ah uh, yes, not not hot coffee. That's uh, exactly what I wanted. I forgot to drink it. Um, so I might just give Seamus another win, just to we haven't quite got anything for him yet, but we'll give him a win just to boost it. Yeah, you know, keep the momentum building for him. And then the main event, who's Kennedy feuding with? Kingston. Okay, so Kennedy. Kofi can cut a promo on Mr. Kennedy. And... You could do Jericho. Yeah, Chris Jericho. Mr. Kennedy versus The Big Show and Kofi. So obviously Chris Jericho helped Kennedy last week. So I think, I think that kind of makes a bit of sense there. And Chris Jericho can pin Kofi. Oh, could pin the Big Show. Flash pin. So he gets a bit of a, a lucky pin over the Big Show. We just need to cut a few minutes here. So we can cut some time with this job match. Squash. Alright. Okay, so that's that show booked. Sting and Punk would be good. Yeah, it would be good, but they're both heels at the moment. Cena and Taker, they're on opposite brands, but you could obviously have them meet at WrestleMania if you wanted to. So Big Show and Jericho open up with a 99, good start. Shelton and Seth Rollins, 79. So not a bad match there, Rollins 79, Shelton 80. Um, Bobby Roode is going to turn heel at some point. Not yet. Homicide 90. Wow, good promo on RVD, who was too high to show up to work. Zack Ryder and Carlito. Wow, 82. Okay, why well, was this so good? Good momentum. Okay. Well, Carlito got a victory, 73. Zack Ryder, 74. Both guys performed really well. Nice. Kurt Hawkins um, saved Zack Ryder from a Carlito attack 71. Sheamus was squashing a squash match over Trent Beretta 74. Sheamus 89. Kofi promo in the main event 88. Kofi and Big Show don't work well as a team. All right, so we can't do them together again. 
Kennedy was the best in the match. Who would have thought? Kennedy 91, Jericho 90, Kofi Big Show 81, 82. You know what? I think Chris Jericho, Mr. Kennedy would have been a great team. I could just see it. Those two guys being arrogant as hell. They would actually be a pretty solid tag team. 89 rated show. So ECW, again, is on fire. They are just killing it. Having a good run at the moment. Billy Kidman. Um, so he's a d trainer down there. I'll keep him down there. Oh, developmental trainer. My bad, Billy. No, I didn't want you to have one more run. Davari, his contract's up. Well, if we ever going to use Muhammad Hassan, Davari would be good with him, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, who will dethrone Homicide? I don't know. Um, like, Homicide at the moment, like, he's like the Mr. Hardcore. Like, he's the, the best at Hardcore. I like what he's doing. I like the position he's in. I guess, who could beat him for it? I could see Seth Rollins doing it, but he's going to do the tag team thing with Bobby Roode. I, I could definitely have seen Seth Rollins beat him for it. He's got 60 hardcore as well, not bad. Um, anyone else? Mid-card? Not really else. anyone else in the mid-card would really suit. So maybe, I don't know. I think maybe it was only really Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins could still do it. Absolutely. Down the line. Because I think we'll have Rollins and Rude win the tag belts for a month or two. Have them drop the belts, do the feud, and then maybe after the feud is done, Rollins could beat Homicide for the title. Davy Richards. And he's a heel, though. Bring in Jay Lethal. Nah. Uh, Dusty Rhodes has given it up. He's had enough. He's retiring. Roddy Piper... Muto suffered a hangover. Well, shouldn't everyone in wrestling have that injury then? A hangover? <laughs> so, Dusty is going to retire. Which basically means Dusty, in three months' time, will no longer be able to be used in the game. He's finished. Same thing, same thing happened in our TNA playthrough. NXT, Primo beat it... Uh, Defeated David Atunga in the main event. That would have been exciting. Brooke Tessmarker beat Emma. Bo Dallas beat Tyler Breeze. Bray Wyatt beat Alistair Black. Dean Ambrose beat Percy Watson. Okay. We still have FCW, unfortunately. We need, it's, we're need nearly getting rid of it, but not quite yet. Percy beat Ty Dillinger. Eric Rowan beat Big Cass. Emma beat Emma. Alright. Do I watch Ring of Honor? No. Levesque, welcome. What'd you miss? Uh, you missed uh, three shows. Matt Stryker, okay. Well, it's interesting. We'll talk about Matt Stryker and how we could transition Booker T into commentary and get rid of Matt Stryker. Well, we could actually do that. Booker T could transition, but would Booker T suit on ECW? I don't really think so. I'd rather just do McFoley and... and Joey Styles on ECW rather than put Booker T there. So we could even do we could do that. Do we need Matt Striker? He's got A3 color. Um, I'll see if he, I'll see if TNA give him an offer. If they don't give him an offer, I'll, I'll keep the guy. But if they give him an offer, maybe I'll think about it. Charles Robinson staying. When's Backlash? So we've got more, one more week's worth of shows to book until Backlash. Name of the current song, um, The Awakening by Onlap. Push never when he gets to the main roster. Uh, he won't be on the main roster for all, a long time.
SmackDown. Last week's SmackDown, we did... We did uh, that big tag match that went really well. Okay. So maybe we'll have Triple H this week fire up a promo on Shawn Michaels. Silky, thank you very much for the bits, man. Looking, looking forward to the backlash. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. And uh, I think backlash should be solid. It's the Raw exclusive pay per view, so yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Raw exclusive pay per view, but we're not having Triple H and Shawn Michaels on the card. We're gonna do that at the next pay per view afterwards. So that's why you know we're gonna keep this feud relevant, but um, not overdo it. We're gonna you know. Put on standby a little bit for the next week or two and put a bit more focus on the other feud. But uh, Triple H and Sean's Triple H promos on HBK about their upcoming match. So basically, Triple H talks about what he did on Raw, how he how he attacked Shawn Michaels, and just kind of cuts a promo on about their match coming up. It can be a bit of minor success. Baba, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you again. Matt Strike has 93 charisma. You can make him a manager. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Um, who would you have him manage? I guess I could see Matt Strike as a heel manager. Managing, you know, whoever. So, Booker T. Who should beat Booker T? Who deserves a win over Booker T? If we're going to let Booker T go, who should beat him? Put over the new guy, Wade Barrett. Might, that might be not a bad idea. Maybe Cesaro, Chris Hero. Alex Riley. Are we still pushing Alex Riley? How are we feeling about Alex Riley? Not too bad. I mean, he's alright. He's had eight wins, one loss, so he's he's doing pretty good. He only lost the only loss he's had was the Royal Rumble. So what we could do is have Booker T put over the heels, and we could have Kevin Nash put over the Bay faces, maybe. Booker T's furious. I'm sorry. Um. Daniel Bryan and Rhino cut a promo on Edge and Christian. And they're not going to have a feud or anything, but just like a promo saying, you know what? We're here to win the tag team titles type of thing. That's why we're here. Summer, thanks for the bets. Excited to see this Raw pay-per-view. I think exclusive pay-per-views was a good choice. Yeah, I think so too, man. I, I, I look, I think we've got a stacked enough roster at the moment where we can separate it and focus a little bit more on doing more, more feuds for the pay-per-view and have more feuds within each brand. You chose this stream over going out drinking with your teammates? Jesus, I appreciate that, but oh man, going out for a drink would be good. Um, still a women's match. I might do a, a multi-women's match. You know, we last week we did like a, a six-man, an eight-man tag that worked out really well. Man, like an eight women's tag. I've probably done one recently. I think maybe, but it doesn't matter. So we'll have some of the, the women here. So Kelly, Melina, Eve, and Maria take on AJ, Beth, Maurice, Karma. Trish on commentary. And Karma can obviously pick up the victory. She can beat uh, Maria. And that, that's a good way to kind of mix in some of the low end girls with some of the top girls, and hopefully, maybe that will help their popularity out a little bit. Um, so, am I to a backstage? Um, backstage. Uh, do I have a backstage beatdown? I've got a backstage brawl. So I might have Samoa Joe get jumped backstage by 
Ted and Cody just to add a bit more to that feud. So they get Joe gets jumped backstage. They have a bit of a brawl around backstage. When's your next TNA stream? I don't stream the TNA. Right, guys are talking about what culture? Ugh. Can we ban like what culture chat in this stream? Like they're crap. Um so let's give R Truth a win to make him a bit more of a credible threat. I might have him take on Kevin Nash. We've got Kevin Nash on the contract. Let's have him actually wrestle and give Truth a win over him. I think Kevin Nash will struggle to do 10 minutes. A wild brawl actually might work out pretty well for these two. And I'll have uh, CM Punk taunt our truth Played the 2005 save recently. No, man, I've just been playing like I... I would try, but it's like I'm doing three saves at the moment, and it's just it's just too much to try and do another one. So when I finish my TNA one, I might um, start playing the the 05 one again. Um, so how much time we got left? I don't know. So maybe, maybe give Brino another tag match. Oh, no, nah, maybe main event time. So maybe Morrison could pick up a big win to get him prepared because he's obviously taken on Randy at the pay view. So maybe Morrison, who have we, we got here? Maybe Morrison beats Christian or the Miz. Yeah, I might go the Miz. Only problem about this is it has no storyline connected because we can't do anything with Randy. And then maybe Morrison can cut a promo afterwards, after the match, and say that he's he's going to win back that title from Randy Orton at Backlash. So we cut some time off this. Uh, probably cut him two minutes off that. All right, so let's do this. Make this storytelling. All right, let's book it. Hunter rated for Triple H promo, talking about his match with Shawn Michaels coming up. Another good promo there. That's, that's, this feud's going really well, actually. Booker T, Alex Riley, Alex Riley 52, Booker T 67, Alex Riley 1. Daniel Bryan and Rhino had a good prom, I guess talking about Edge and Christian always helps. Women's tag was pretty solid, 82, Maria 51, Eve 59, Melina 77, very good. Kelly 61, Karma 87, wow. Marie 75, Beth Phoenix 76, AJ Lee much better than compared to last week, she Obviously works much better on the tag team. 56. 82 overall. Nice. The heel side was really strong there. Nice. Nice, nice. What Ke we have Kelly Kelly? What'd she do? 61. That's pretty shit. Samoa Joe getting jumped backstage and having a bit of a brawl with Ted and Cody. 98. That was That's going to help that feud out big time. Truth and Nash. Not bad. 75 for... True, 65 and Nash. It was an eight-minute match, and Kevin Nash was getting gasped towards towards the end. Come on, Kevin. Seriously, 77. Punk 90 on Truth. That'll help that feud out. I was gonna do Truth cutting a promo on, on Punk, but I figured CM Punk is just so good on the mic that he'll probably do better anyways. Main event was Truth, uh, not Truth. It was Morrison versus the Miz. We knew it wasn't gonna be a hell of a match because of the lack of storyline associated, but still 85 is solid. Uh, Keep saying truth. Morrison, 96. Miz, 91. So both guys performed really, really well. And then 91 for the promo at the end to hype up the match and end out the show for an 88. Miz and Morrison should be a one-off, long-time feud, not a one-off match. 
yeah, down the line, but um, Morrison's feuded with Randy Orton. He needs a win, and you can re always revisit it later. It's a bit of a taste, a bit of a tease of what to expect. Charlie Haas contract's ending. Well, Charlie Haas in the tag team right now, he's still living on 53 pop, despite, you know, he's only gone from like 48 to 53, despite being tag champ and kind of riding, riding off the coattails of Shelton Benjamin. He takes the pin every time they lose, but, yeah. Got to re-sign his tag champ. Oh, Shelton's contract's expiring too. Well, I'm not letting this guy go. No way am I letting Shelton Benjamin get away. So Steamboat's joined up. And it looks like TNA didn't offer Matt Striker or anything. So no, they don't even want him. Alright, I guess I'll re-sign him then. Alright. Punk likes what he hears from Brian. Okay, no surprise. Alright, um, Richie Steamboat, send him down to developmental. Steamboat will go well developmental, I think. He's going to be very good. Um, also wanted to check. Maybe some of the women. AJ, she got a big win. Maybe helped her a little bit. Uh, Joe, 80, Ted, 72, Cody, 81, so I wanted to check something else, uh, I don't know, so Triple H's got 96 pop, Shawn Michaels has 94, so that's solid, so that should be good there, Morrison's sitting at 90, so that's, that's, that's good, oh yeah, Kevin Nash and Truth, so, Booker T lost, so he went from, what, 75, 74 to 72. Alex Riley got to 48, so not a huge jump for him. Went from 46 to 48, so, you know, look, a bit of a bump for him. It might help. Uh, Truth beat Nash. He went to 72. Kevin Nash went from 77 to 75. Oof, Jesus. So, Truth was at 70. So he's gone from 70 to 72.3. So that's, that's, that's okay. That's not bad. You take that. And we need, we have done our truth the dirty. Like we've done him so bad throughout the series. He needs, he deserves, he deserves a push. And uh, he's going to lose to Punk at the end of the day. But if we can get him back to 75, he might be able to get the IC title at some point, which would be good for him. TNA are trying to get Shelton off my hands. Okay. Four years, 30k. Wow, big deal. Nice. Ooh. Can I offer a bit more money? 32. All right, we'll be able to match this. 32. Boom. Shelton's not going anywhere. I'm not letting him go. TNA, get your grubby hands off him. All right, so Sami Zayn, El Generico, whatever you want to call him. Should we call him Generico or Sami Zayn? Probably Sami Zayn. Is that the best photo we have of him? Jesus. Alright. It's gonna have to do. <laughs> I'll, if I remember, I'll get a better one. And it'll send him back down to developmental. Teenager, teenager intelligent. Yeah, they're doing. They make some good decisions. Check La Sombra's stats. Too young. Leave it as generic until he's called up. No. Well, the whole point of NXT is to develop a character while they're down there and get and to, and learn how to be that character. So if he's going to be a new character. King of Trios? That's a big show, isn't it? No, not really. Ring of Honor? No. Supercard of Honor? 68, I guess that's alright. Czech Champions in NWA? Why? <laughs> okay. Um, 
titles. So, NWA World Championship. Well, Richie Steamboat was champion, but he had to vacate it because he left. No one special's champion at the moment. What is Sweet Puppy Sanchez's real name? Who cares? I'm, no, I really don't know. So Booker T has signed with TNA, so we're letting Booker T go. And look, Booker T's 46. He is on his last legs. He is not performing well. They might sign him as a color commentator if they do. Great. But for me, I don't really need Booker T. Don't need him. His popularity is... We can, we can get rid of his popularity, put it on some other guys. He can put over a lot of our guys on his way out. You know, it's not a big loss. He's old. He's about done. So, yes, commentator would have been good. But we've got... We looked at our commentators, and we've got enough commentators. We've got we've got guys to do the job already, so we don't really need him at the moment. And and look, I don't mind letting TNA get him. You know, TNA is the retirement home anyway, so they can you know get another old timer there, and he can have one more run. The last run, I would say, for him. Come on, Batista, take my money. Be happy, please, Dave. We want you to be happy. Um. Job Booker Hardcore. Have him lose to Santino. Oh, that would be tough. Have Barrett beat Booker. Yeah, I think we'll give a win to Wade Barrett. Anything else to check, actually? There wasn't a single show? It's odd. It went so well for Booker at the beginning, then it all went downhill. It did, didn't it? Did Booker win the US title? Did he win that? No, no, I never gave him the belt. Thought about it. I was going to give him one more run, but... Um, on the next show, do I clear the air? Why? You, you, I couldn't if I wanted to. Give both Barrett and Lewington wins versus Booker to build their team. Yeah, I might do that. Probably what I'll do. All right, so the last Raw before Backlash. All right, so last week, obviously, a Triple H come out, attack, blah, blah, blah. So this week, we might uh, invite John Morrison to the show to do the contract signing. So Morrison and, and Orton can do a a face-to-face -face for the pay-per-view. And we'll get Vince on the show because he always complains if he doesn't get booked. So, contract signing. They're not singing. They're not singing along. They're signing. Morrison, Orton. Orton, RKO to Morrison. So, we'll give Randy the, uh, the one-up on Morrison. Let the baby face get taken down to try and, you know, hype him up a bit. Get the crowd behind him. Rude, rude match against Jericho. Uh, it'd be more rude versus Shelton Benjamin because they're feuding at the moment. So might give Del Rio a match. We haven't used him too much as of late. Paul Birchall, 55. It's got to be Bayface, my bad. Kendrick. So I might give Del Rio a match against Kendrick. Have they done that? No. Del Rio could win. Probably go a little bit. Eight minutes. Um, give Machine Guns a promo. Actually, no, I'll give Hurricane Goldust promo on Shelly and Saban. So how did they lose any pop when they lost? He lost a little bit, not a hell of a lot. And Shelly lost a touch too. That's okay. If we elevate these two guys, gold gold justice that little bit, it's not a bad idea. Keep them a little bit more level. Sign Paul London. Ah, uh, he left. I can't sign him. We're gonna get homicide versus Rollins down the line. Yeah. 
as I was saying a little bit earlier, I think Rollins will be the one to beat Homicide for the hardcore title, I think. Um, so give Broken Matt another victory. So give him another strong win just to kind of make him look good as he prepares to try and take on Ziggler. So the only real guy, I guess Paul Birchall's really the only other decent person I've got for him to beat. I'll keep, I'll have him keep challenging. Um, I'll have Ziggler attack him afterwards. So last week Broken Matt challenged Dolph Ziggler to the match. Dolph Ziggler wasn't there to accept or deny. Matt Hardy wins again, and we'll have Ziggler, you know, come from behind, hit the zigzag, and lay him out, and kind of accept in that fashion. Backlash is the raw pay-per-view, right? Yes. Um... So I'll have a promo, Mark Henry on John Cena. Now, sick for this promo, Henry says Cena will be the first inductee into the Hall of Pain. So, you guys want me to do the Hall of Pain thing, we'll do that. And we'll say Cena's going to be the first guy in it. Which I don't think is going to happen. I think Cena's going to... Cena's going to uh, win. So this is going to be great stuff, Hall of Pain, but... Um, yeah. Yeah. We're we still turning Randy. Was that a thing? Will we, will we ever start doing that? No, not yet. Okay. We could. We probably will down the line. He's a much better heel, obviously. Would you consider extending the show to hour, two hours? You have enough depth. The thing is, though, if you go to two hours, then. Um, you're really stretching yourself thin every week. You're like you, you're gonna run out of unique matches to do really quickly, you know. Whereas now you have 90 minutes of just good, good shows, like good matches and, and meaningful matches rather than just doing a lot of filler. The only benefit would be is that you could get a few matches with more time, but they don't necessarily need time. I only need time in the main event really. So what's the deal? We have got. Uh, Natalia and Michelle McCool. So Natalia can beat Layla. And then we'll have the two on one. Yeah, beat down. Two on one. So Michelle, Layla, Natalia. Just to get a bit more heat to that feud. Um, so we got we got we've done Boris and Orton. We could do a little bit more with Cena and Mark Henry because the feud's lacking a little bit, isn't it? Where is it? Um, eighty. Yeah. So it got marked down because of the lack of heat. So we need to get a bit more heat towards it. We only have four matches. Five, I guess in set for this pay-per-view so fortunately it's not a lot of time to really start up another feud it's just because we only had three weeks of build normally we'd have six weeks of build to a, a brand exclusive pay-per-view so not a, not as much build this time around which is okay you know we could easily just put Rey Mysterio on the card against someone for example Rey and Batista maybe I don't know so something simple there Maybe we'll just do that, you know, Ray, you know, Batista can challenge Ray. Backstage. You know, Batista's wanting a match, he challenges Ray. And that gives us another quick little easy match on the card. We'll do Batista and Mark Henry. We can switch it up this week. Batista and Mark Henry can take on Ray, John Cena. Instead of Orton, Batista there. 
I guess we could just do a quick little storyline Batista of Stereo. I don't, I'm not going to do a long term one with them. Maybe I could. Um, we'll think about it, but just something for the pay per view, just to add a little bit to it. Oh, I'd love to have Mark Henry in win, but do I have him? He's got too less. You know, Ray and Cena have got too much popularity to have them lose. Same Batiste is far too low. Cena could pin Batista, unfortunately. I love Batista. I'm so annoyed that his popularity is so bad. It's really, it's really annoying. I think the goal should be to get ECW's top six guys up in the pop, up in popularity to the point where ECW Elimination Chamber will be the main event. Elimination Chamber pay me before Mania. Okay. It's not a bad goal. Yeah, I can see that. Would you consider turning Batista face down the road to team with Ray? Absolutely, yes. Did you do Ray vs. Batista feud already? Um, it was a feud with The Undertaker for the title. So they, they had some matches, but not really a full-on feud. Alright, let's do it. Have we did a women's match? Yeah, we did. Okay. Hard to rate it for the opening segment, so that'll help out that storyline a little bit there. Get a bit more heat just before the end. And Morrison showing up to do the contract signing is not unrealistic. You know, during the brands, but people show up all the time if, if they need to. And it's for the title match, so it's a purpose. Del Rio and Kendrick 64, they don't have chemistry. Okay, we won't be doing that one again. Hurricane Goldust, Goldust, 71 for their promo. Matt Hardy and Paul Birchall, 83. Okay. Matt Hardy, 82. That's pretty good. Birchall, 66. So Matt Hardy's doing pretty well. And then Ziggler attacking him, 95. Oh, yeah. Ziggler's going to turn face. Really? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I think it's because we had Chris Masters and others. Actually, I'm thinking now that I don't even know if that would be a strong idea. I'll think about that. Oh, we were going to push Del Rio and others up the card a bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mark Henry Primer 89, so that surely will help the storyline out a bit. Natalia and Layla, 80. Jeez. Natalia 74, Layla 64, and hit an 80. Wow. Very good. And then 69 for the attack. So that wasn't that great. <laughs> In terms of the storyline, that won't help too much. Batista and Ray, that challenge was 90. So that started that segment well. And in the main event, that's much better. 89, better. Henry, 91. Batista was still good though, 86. So Batista, if we're going to get the best out of Batista, I definitely think tag team matches are the way to go. I think if we did do Batista and Ray as a team, you know, that would really help both guys out. Cena 95, Ray 94, 89 match, 91 show. That's more like it. Thank you very much. That's better. Batista shakes Ray's hand after bidding at the pay per view, turning face. Um. So who we got? Well, let's just look. So you got Batista as a heel. You got Kane's a face. Kane probably needs to turn heel again. Um. So you got you got Michaels, who's now more of a part time. You got Henry, and you got Batista. That's an Orton. So that's about it. So you got Ray. So if we did the switch, we turn Kane heel and Batista face. That would be okay, and that would um, help us out there. Otherwise, we'd be in a bit of trouble. So if we're going to turn Batista face, we'd have to turn Kane to go along with him. Yeah. Would Batista prosper as a face? Well, 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If we turn Batista face... Uh, nah, never mind. I was going to say if we turn Batista face, you probably wouldn't turn Ziggler. But, probably a bit of a non-issue. Batista... Hmm. Get Batista the Deacon Batista gimmick in. No, why the hell would you do that? This guy, who's had a stroke, his contract's up. He might be back for six months, so we won't be signing him. Ah, oh, thank God. The deal for FCW has two weeks remaining. Thank goodness for that. My recent booking has been poor. I need some wins. We gave you a win last week! You had a win last week! What are you complaining about? Come on. Maybe he needs to beat a few low-end teams to make himself a bit happier. Alright. Bring in Goldberg at SummerSlam. I might, might bring in Goldberg for Mania, maybe. When I split the tag title belts. Um, we're close. Each, each brand has got nearly enough teams where you could probably do it. If we, if we signed up Ray and Batista as a team, that might be the turning point. That might get us that one extra team to be able to do it. We'd need a strong team to beat Edge and Christian. So if we had Ray and Batista team up, they beat Edge and Christian for the belts, for one, one half of the belts, and they take them back to Raw, and Edge and Christian keep the, the other half and keep them on SmackDown. And that might be the way you could do it. Because... We need one strong team to beat Edge and Christian. And Ray would, Ray's pot would be good enough. And Christian, you could have him sacrifice a bit of his. Or even Edge to Batista a bit to boost him up. And then be no issue. I wouldn't really care. So, that way Edge and Christian are still tag champions. But not both tag, tag titles. And we split it up a bit. Alright, so... Got ECW, so two more shows to book. How long have we got? An hour and a half in the stream. Okay, we've got plenty of time still. So, you guys haven't already, make sure you follow the stream. We're looking to try and get 6,000 followers. Um, Dash Batman, thank you very much for the follow. So, ECW. So, ECW is. There's no. No pay for ECW for a little bit until Money in the Bank. So, another few weeks. Oh, quite some time away, actually. So, you'd probably nearly think about doing a rematch sometime soon for the belt. So, we could do. Well, so, we did the tag match last week. Hmm. How many bits to make Ziggler or Jill Champ with tag in US title? Well, who's, who's his partner? Uh, I'm not sure how to start ECW this week. I might maybe just start with a match. Bobby Roode and Shelton Benjamin. So Shelton lost last week. So, oh, he dipped a little bit in popularity, didn't he? So I might have Shelton get the one up on Bobby. He beats Bobby Roode. I might just have a little bit of a sign of dissension already between the two. So, backstage. Alright, so, last week Bobby Roode helped Seth Rollins. This week Seth Rollins didn't help Bobby Roode. So, Roode, Roode complains to that Rollins didn't help him this week. So, backstage, Rude's just saying, well, hey, last week I helped you. Where were you this week? I thought you meant to be my tag team partner. You know? Both want to go up script so they can. I'll, put, I'll add Shelton as off-screen so that feud continues. How many bits to make Batista Drax the Destroyer? Um... 10,000. How many make, how many bits to make tarts of the person and take a streak? 
250,000. So who else we got this tag division? We've got Crime Time, so you Shad and JTG a matchup. They can take on the Usos. So the Usos probably will lose, but just see where they're at as a team. Have we already had this match? No. So we'll just see where the Usos are at as, as a team. And see also where Crime Time's at. Crime Time hasn't done a hell of a lot as as of late. But the Usos have too much too few pop. Like let's try again. The Crime Time got too much pop. Let's say that sounds better. To lose to the Usos. How many bits to fire Lesnar? Um, 25,000. I, I don't want to fire Brock. And because you mentioned Brock, let's, uh, let's give Brock a promo. Um, alright, so I'll just do my own then. I can't find the one I want. Paul Heyman. Brock Lesnar. Heyman hypes Lesnar. Okay. There you go. We'll go that's have Heyman just pump up Lesnar a bit. I'm not sure what we're going to do with Lesnar at this point. I might save him for a little bit and maybe get him geared up to come back for a huge SummerSlam match. Just kind of play off the fact that he's, you know, maybe doing UFC or something around this time, so he's not super active at the moment. Zack Ryder. Um, so do Carlito versus Kurt Hawkins. So Carlito beat Zack last week. It helped these pop out a little bit. Yeah, nice. Carlito can beat Kurt Hawkins. And then uh, I'll have him cut a promo on Zack Ryder. We need more, more promo, more angles. Okay. Um, so we could actually utilize RVD in Homicide this week. So, so what I might do is Homicide, RVD, um, So, so Homicide brags about how untouchable he is as champion. RVD attacks with a chair. So Homicide's in the ring saying, look, I'm so great. You know, I am, I am the man. No one can really touch me. I'm, I'm the hardcore champion for a reason. I'm the best at hardcore, etc., etc." RVD hits the ring. Boom, hits him with the chair, does the van terminator, whatever the hell it's called, you know, just beats him down with the chair a bit, kind of sends a bit of a message to him, just kind of kicks the feud off a bit there. And also, Homicide talked a bit of crap out RBD last week, so get to carry that on. Extra couple minutes there. Lesnar is, is in ECW. Lesnar's a free agent, but we've made it so... Like, Paul Heyman is the commissioner of ECW. So, it makes sense for Paul Heyman to do all his talking for Lesnar in ECW, because that's the brand that he's on. So, Lesnar does a lot of his promos in ECW. Well, Heyman does the promos, and Lesnar might show up on ECW and stand there. But um, he's a free agent. He's not on, he's not on any brand. But uh, since Heyman is an ECW... Commissioner, it makes sense for Heyman to have Lesnar show up for his promos and things like that on ECW, whereas Lesnar might, you know, go for the world title on a different brand, and that's okay. But Lesnar, he get his promos in on these on uh, ECW. 
You should make use more use of the hardcore tiles 24-7 rule. Yeah, at the moment though, like Homicide, we're trying to make trying to make Homicide a real legitimate champion. So having him just defend the belt randomly for no reason, I'm not real big keen on that. In the future, yeah, but he's he's done 14 tile defenses over the last well, year actually, so probably should do a little bit more. But um yeah, maybe over the next few weeks to kind of hype up how great Homicide is, we might have him defend the title a bit more. How many bits for, to have Punk win the US title in the future to become Grand Slam champion? He was an IC champion? Bye Lucas. Let Lesnar be Heyman's lapdog in that if anyone crosses the authority, Heyman unleashes Lesnar on them. You call it. That's, that's not a bad idea. Like, I could see... What we got now on the ECW? I could see Kofi maybe feud with Lesnar, do something there. We've got Kofi, Sheamus. Sheamus and Lesnar would be a good one. You know, I could see a few little things there. All right, so what we we've done the tag match. Um, I was thinking Kofi and Jericho, but I don't know if I want to give that away on TV. Big Show kind of needs a win. He's had a few losses, so MVP. Hmm, I don't really know if I want to give that away either. There's no one really that would be good enough for this main event, is there? Maybe another tag match, not sure. Or maybe we just do Jericho and Kofi. Are you going to extend all your shows to two hours? No, I don't really want to. Punk was IC in late 08, there you go. Didn't watch late, I didn't watch late 08. Sounds like an excuse to have Heyman cut promos and he's over to boost the rating. Shh, shh, don't expose my secrets. Can you get Beretta and Croft to win against two jobbers? You feel bad they always lose? Well, they, we brought them in to be job guys. That's why we signed them. I mean, I could call up a developmental team. A couple of developmental guys to lose. What about Epico and Primo? What's his name? Where's Epico? Orlando Cologne. All right. Uh, and what's his name? Kalen Croft, Trent. All right, there you go. They can have a win. Oh, we need a main event. Um, Big Show vs. Homicide. RVD cost Homicide right after the chair shot. Big Show vs. Homicide, non title. Okay, yeah. So, Big Show. Homicide, interference, homicide, gets hit by, interfered by RVD, and then, RVD attacks. All right, we'll give Jericho a promo on Big Show. Uh, this can get cut. 
and we'll go storytelling. That should be enough. All right, so Colognes versus Dubusters, fifty-two. Primo sixty. Orlando Cologne twenty-five. Ooh, Dubusters about fifty. Bobby and Shelton was good. Bobby Root outperformed Shelton Benjamin. That you don't see every day. 82. Bobby 79. Shelton 76. Bobby Root to Seth Rollins. 87. So Bobby Root saying, you know, look, Shelton beat me tonight. I, last week I helped you beat Shelton. Where were you this week to help me beat Shelton? What's the deal? Seth Rollins' gimmick's getting stale. Ooh, okay, we might need to freshen that up. Crime Time, the Usos, 73, not bad. JTG, 70, uh, sorry, 68. Shad, 70. J, 51. Jimmy, 60. Um, oh, we're changing his gimmick. Below average. Oh, that's, better than, that's better than awful. Paul Heyman, 91, hyping up Lesnar. Carlito, promo, 76. I thought I had Zack Ryder do that promo. No, oh, whatever. Carlito and Kurt Hawkins, 74. Carlito, 73. Nice. Carlito's performing really well lately. Kurt, 52. 74 overall. That's much better from Carlito. Jericho, 93 promo. Big Shot and Homicide was good, 88. They lacked a little bit of psychology. Big Shot and Homicide, both 87. So Homicide's hitting 87s now? Are you kidding me? 88. And a 99 for the attack afterwards. So that worked out really well. Van Dam attacking Homicide for 99. 89 rated show. Damn. Nice. Nice. Um, oh, Big Andy's contract's up. Do we, we, do we really want to sign that guy? TNA still trying to fight me for Shelton. And they are not winning. Jay Uso doesn't connect with the fan. You could probably write him off. Come on, Seth. Give a bit of love to Jay. Big Andy from Tough Enough. I mean, they've really inflated his stats. Like, 95 star quality. Give me a break. Like, super inflated his stats. He has improved quite a lot, to be fair to the guy. Um... Look, if TNA give him, if TNA give him an offer, he can go. If not, I'll put him in development a bit longer. Why not? Take the credit for that main event. Yeah, it was a good main event. Good pick. Good pick. I wanted to do that, but I I know like it was like okay, Homicide got beaten down, so it makes sense. But we did the change. Apparently, seen as the most entertaining wrestler in the world. What do you guys think about that? Seen as the most entertaining. Okay. On ECW's brand, next brand exclusive pay view, maybe time to have a some main event with the hardcore title against RBD. Ooh. I don't know about that. But feuding with Homicide might actually be the thing that finally gets RVD's popularity up. Like, for RVD to be any good, he needs 85 pop. If RVD gets to 85 pop, he'll be good. But at the moment, because he's got 70, it's just not getting him anywhere. Homicide, though, he's going to be 80 pop so soon. I can't, Like, Homicide, right? Yes, he's done really well. He's won... Look, he's won four, lost four. And I guess in history, he's won 24, lost 16. Yet, his popularity when it started, it was like 50, as you can see. 50 when we brought him in. And he's now about to hit 80. Like, he's not far away from 80. He's in mid-75s. In some areas, he's already 80. Like, talk about a guy that we hardly even tried to push, and he's just gotten over. Just gotten over. Incredible. Ron Skimmick. Thank you, wrestling. Appreciate that. So we're not changing it, because he's got a great gimmick, so we're going to keep it as is. Ron's is at flat 70s. He's nearly, except for one area, he's in the 70s across the board, which is good. Shelton dipped a little bit after losing to him. Yeah, but uh, he beat Rude, so that should help him a bit, just recover. And Rude's around the 70 mark, too. Okay. Yeah. Um, Alright, 
So Carlito, 63. So Carlito's got a real chance, I think, to kind of boost up and pop with this feud here. Kurt Hawkins, 50s. Zach's at uh, 63, 64. So Zach and Carlito should have a nice little matchup. I'm going to for the ECW at one, some point. You know what? If he keeps doing what he's doing, we might have no choice. Buy a party. Thanks for coming, man. Homicide got over by himself. By WWE law, you must squash him. Yeah, you're not wrong. Homicide got himself over, so I must ruin his career. Just ask Zack Ryder and Rusev. But instead, I'm going to keep pushing the guy. <laughs> instead of burying him, I'm like, okay, he's super over right now. All right, let's utilize that and let's give him more of a push. Backwards thinking, I know, like, I'm an idiot, right? Like, WD would be like, oh, he's over? Oh, we got to bury the guy. Instead of me, oh, he's over? Okay, let's push the guy. He's got insane stats, though. Like, that's the thing. You know, he's perfect for the hardcore title, too. Yeah. That's why we've kept the belt in for so long. He's had a year-long reign, and that's what I wanted. I wanted him to be, like, Mr. Hardcore, like, the king of hardcore type of thing. And he's done that year-long title reign now. I think it's officially year-long now. Um, yes, as of this week, it's been a one-year title reign. So I probably should have had him defend the title to, like, make him risk not making it to one year. I should have, I should have been on top of that. I had a night I would have done that. Somehow Ryder's only one belt away from Grand Slam champ. Somehow. He'll never, he'll never get the big one, though. Alright, David Atunga, Atunga, wants to get the call up, well that's a shame David, you're not getting one. TNA didn't want Matt Stryker, I guess Don West is doing the job I suppose. If this was real WWE Homicide would be fed to Roman. Hmm. Technically, you are like WWE because you refuse to push Sweet Puppy Sanchez, the most over wrestler. Well, he's the most over wrestler according to the Twitch stream. And let's have a look. How is Sweet Puppy Sanchez going? It's goofball. His stats aren't really improving too much anymore. They're okay. Jeez, his mic skills are alright. He's improved on the mic, so he can cut a promo. Well, thank God. So him and Santina, that tag team might work. It's about as close as he's getting the main roster. What year are we in? I'm sorry, I have not kept up the 2011 series. You just answered your own question. What year are we in? Oh, I haven't kept up with the 2011 series. Hmm. Wonder what year we're in. Rule number one of WWE, if they're over without your permission, thou shall be buried. You said it, man. You said it. You mean like how many years have passed? Well, then say that. You said, what year are we in? And you said, no, I didn't mean that. I think you might have meant that, but uh, you fucked up. Uh, Christopher Hartman, thank you very much for following the stream, man. Smackdown. So last week, we did Triple H and cutting a problem on Shawn Michaels. So Backlash is after today's, after this Smackdown. So this week, maybe Morrison can get the floor and cut, you know, talk about Randy Orton. So what I was thinking, maybe like, okay, Orton, uh, Morrison... Cuts a super baby face promo. Talks about how much the world title means to him and how much, how yeah. He talks about how much the world title means. So I won't go too much more than that. But um, yeah, basically a super baby face promo. Like, oh, the world title's everything to me. You know, I had it was such an honor being the champion for the fans, blah, blah, blah. And how he wants to beat Orton at the, at the pay-per-view to get the title back for the fans type of crap. Since Morrison's like our super baby face right now. 
Booker T can take another loss, and he can lose to Wade Barrett this week. Might actually have Barrett dominate. See if that helps a little bit more this week. Booker T is not... Uh, actually, Booker T is still happy. Even though he got jobbed out last week, he's still happy. Somehow. Well, I was going to give him some more money. Natty, thank you very much for coming along. Appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. I should sign Sweet Puppy Sanchez in 2018 series. I don't even know if he's in the game. What I might do afterwards is have a two-on-one. Like, just to send a bit more of a message to Booker T. Actually, we need to change that. So it's like, so Booker T, um, major defeat, Overness, Wade, Steve Lewington. So they can, uh, successfully beat up Booker T. Yeah. So Booker T is certainly doing the J-O-B before he leaves the company. Alright, so we might give Trish a win, give, give her a matchup. Give her a win, just to keep her momentum building. Last week she didn't participate. Um, just trying to look at some low-end girls she could beat. There's really not many. I guess Jillian. Maybe a good match for Jillian might help her out anyways. She's got 47 pop. Mm. Trish destroying her might help her out. <laughs> Who knows? Alright, I was going to have Karma maybe come up for the attack, but we just did an attack angle, so... Trish can just challenge Karma. So Trish basically says, look, I'm ready to take on Karma. I'm, you know, I want a rematch. I want my rematch. How many bits for Sweet Puppy Sanchez to be take his streak? One million. Wonder if we ever get that dream match. Sweet Puppy Sanchez versus Muhammad Hassan. Oh god. I will donate two bits if you give Sweet Puppy Sanchez the title. So you want to give me two cents. Two cents to give Sweet Puppy Sanchez the title. Yeah, no. Nah. Um, every former champion has to do the job one way or another. Yeah, if you're retiring or leaving the company, you gotta you got to do the right thing on the way out. That's just how it goes. So I might do AJ Lee promo. AJ Lee can hype herself up a bit. Because I think that might be the key to getting her over. So AJ Lee can have a bit of a self-up hype promo. Um, Daniel Bryan a match, maybe? Are we going to still drop out Kevin Nash? We had him job to truth last week. Kev. Um, let's go Chavo versus Daniel Bryan. Now let's have Edge and Christian hype themselves up a bit more too. Don't have a tag feud for them at the moment because we've got a lot of new teams. None really ready for the tag title shot just yet. Have Edge and Christian just cut a promo, hype themselves up a bit more. Um, Samoa Joe needs a tag team partner to take on Legacy because he got beaten down last week. So Joe needs a partner. Who can he get? Our uh, truth, I guess, would be good. Punk can go commentary. Um, we'll give Joe the win. Can uh, pin Ted. Hmm. Is that strong enough for a main event? Not really. 
Although it would probably hit 83, maybe 84. Um, what else? Who else we got to use? All the other guys aren't really involved in anything at the moment. Triple H, yeah, Triple H could do something. With Sean. Okay, so what about we get? So I might make that pre-show. I might give Triple H a promo on Shawn Michaels. Triple H can have a match against. Did he already? The Miz already got beat by. Um, give a match against Christian. Give it twenty minutes, maybe. And then Shawn Michaels. So Shawn Michaels. Triple H. HBK. Um, run in. Super kick. Switch in music to Triple H. And runs away. So Shawn Michaels comes in from the crowd. Bang! Super kick. Switch in music. Triple H. He goes down. Shawn Michaels quickly runs away. So Triple H did the same to Shawn Michaels a few weeks ago. He came and attacked Shawn. Now Shawn Michaels comes in and gets a bit of revenge of his own. And quickly gets the hell out of there. Alright, so we might uh, scrap the Edge of Christian promo then. Ah, uh, we'll put on the pre-show, whatever. Alright. Is Punk winning the belt back? Not for a bit, we're going to have him cool off on the world title. Just get him out of the title picture for a little bit. Maybe work with some of the upper mid carters, try and elevate them a little bit. And he'll come back to the world title eventually. Um, probably try and set up for Punk vs. Taker at SummerSlam, I think. That might be our big SummerSlam matchup there. Have Morrison wrestle. Um, no, he can just cut the promo on Randy Orton. Or well, more about, Morrison's got a title match. Doesn't need to, to wrestle yet. We might do this HBK angle. Alright, so let's do it. Brian and Chavo, wow, not bad. 77. Brian 80, Chavo 65. We probably should have done an official Chavo and Brian O feud. Edge of Christian, hype themselves up. 84. Start the show off with Morrison, 100 rated promo. Super Bayface promo on Randy Orton. Booker T got squashed by Barrett, 59. Wade Barrett and Steve Lewington beat up Booker T afterwards. Steve Lewington, that was his debut, really. We hadn't done a debut. Oh, we, yeah, we hadn't debuted him yet. Poor Raider for his gimmick, though. Hmm. It's probably Wade Barrett's debut then, too, huh? I don't know. What, not a bad way to be debut, beat Booker T. And kind of have Lewington help Barrett. I guess it's a way to pair him up a bit. Trish versus Jillian. Trish and Jillian have no chemistry. 71, though. That might help Jillian a little bit. And then Trish challenging Karma, 89. AJ hyping herself up a little bit. 62. Legacy versus Samoa Joe and Truth. Wow, a lot better than I expected. Um, DBRC 81, Cody 91, Truth 77, Samoa Joe 86. Nice. Nice. 88. Maybe that should have been the main event. Triple H, promo 94. I don't even know. I don't know if Triple H and Christian will beat that. Jesus, huh? That's bad. 75. No storyline was the key issue there. Triple H, 90. Christian, 86. But 100 for the attack at the end. Okay. Mm. Not, not ideal. 86. Mm. Yeah, not great. Not great.
Triple H, his popularity is improving quite a bit. Nearly at 97 in some areas. Sean's 94. Truth is getting a bit, bit of work. Joe's a flat 80. Cody and Ted, not bad. Yep, not bad. So Backlash is next. So we finally made it to Backlash. So NXT is having David Otunga and Primo feud to help drive interest for the next few months. I think that's going to drive the fans away, not drive interest. Primetime players against Muhammad Hassan and Curtis Axel. Well, that's an interesting team. Okay. DBRC face turn. Ah, uh, we need teams. We need teams. And there's no real need. We need heal. Well, we don't need heals, but we need we need a team. Will Morrison win another world title? Yeah, probably. I think Morrison... Depending what we do with the W title, Triple H drops it to CM Punk. Uh, Morrison might win it from Punk. I'm not sure how that's going to go down. Jack Swagger's back. Okay, that's good. We've got Swagger. Which brand is he on? I forget. Did I switch him brands or I keep him on Raw? No, I kept him on Raw. Okay, that solves a heel issue for SmackDown. And gives us another tag team as well. If we want to. Hmm. Okay. Jack Swagger, I mean, he left for a long time. Like, when was his last match? October 2010. It's been a long time. Long time. Hasn't really gotten. Didn't really push him much either. Jeez, we had Booker T go over Jack Swagger. That's how much we cared about Swagger. Jesus. Ouch. Neville wants to call up and Chris Jericho. Oh boy. year deal. I'm not letting this guy go. <laughs> I'll just give him max deal. Please don't leave me, Chris. Please. Alright, Neville. Shelton staying. That's good news. That's good. Gotta watch out for Triple H Creative Control. He might want to drop the title to anyone. I'll make him drop it. Don't worry. Swagger has a team with Michael Cole. Yeah, they remember, remember how Michael Cole was like um, trying to take on Jerry Lawler and Jack Swagger was like his trainer or some crap? You should mainly increase Swagger's popularity because he won an MA fight and bring him back as a legit fighter. Um, it's probably his first fight, so you'd probably say he won like a low end MMA fight, so you probably wouldn't increase it. Does Jericho go to it with his band in this mod? Uh, I don't think so. He probably would have gone by now if he did. No, he probably should, shouldn't he? I say that and he's going to go tour and like, next month he's going to go on tour. Fuck's sake. What have I done? Bye, Chris. <laughs> Give Booker a bit of money for jobbing out. To say thank you. Please use Cole and Swagger to match as a team versus Santino and Sweet Bobby Sanchez. I'd rather, like, have someone screech a chalkboard for an hour on and watch that shit. Alright, so let's do Backlash. Ryback didn't pick up his share of the tab. Not good enough, Ryback. So this one, it's a uh, Raw pay-per-view. Okay. All right. Forgot about that. So Mick Foley, then. What's, uh, what's the deal? ECW Foley? Come on. Ever thought of doing a Nexus-type angle? <laughs> Have I thought about it? I mean, I get asked every stream about it. The thing about Nexus is that their popularity is so low that it's almost impossible to do it and be successful with it. Um, 
there's no way in hell I'd ever sacrifice a top guy to the Nexus. So they'd never win. They would never win. Alright, so... Um, we might open the show up with the US title. Broken Matt versus Mark Henry. No, not Mark Henry, Dolph Ziggler, idiot. Dolph Ziggler. I was thinking about John Cena and Mark Henry. I was thinking about that could open, but I might put that in the middle of the card. Um, jeez, you'd be tempted to get Broken Matt the belt. Actually, Ziggler's got 80 pop. How did that happen? Far out. Okay. That is surprising. I know he won at money WrestleMania, but... Jeez. Okay, well, Ziggler can win. Baba, thank you for the bat, uh, the bits. 80 bits, appreciate it, man. We'll give Ziggler a... Let's have him cheat to win to keep the... Give us an excuse to do another match. Keep strong as your friend. Keep strong also ruins match quality. So let's give John Cena a promo on Mark Henry, trying to try to keep that. Uh, what am I saying? Keep the storyline heat up a bit. Um, so we got that. What else can we do? A tag team. What about the women's match? Natalia. We do have new storylines. I might update the storyline on the screen. Just for my own sake. So I don't forget to... Uh... Um... Just so I know what I'm doing. So we've got Ray and Batista as well as a as a matchup you could do. Hulk Hogan, alright, Hogan comes in for a match. Alright. Forgot I had him. Um so yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Natalia Michelle. Um for the women's Divas top. So I might have Michelle win. By um, by DQ with with uh, Layla beating the crap out of Natalia, and then do a two on one attack. Reason being is because Natalia only just won the belt. I don't want to have her lose the belt just yet, but um, yeah. So we'll do that. Gold Justice versus Machine Guns. I think we know what's going to happen here. How many bits for Super Hot Chances with all the belts in WWE? Two bits, just the two. I'd love for that to happen. Super keen for that. That's, that's sarcasm, by the way. You love my TW videos, you want my inspirations? Well, thank you, Ryan. Appreciate that. I like spreading the word of TW. I like everyone kind of, you know, um, getting on the TW bandwagon and playing because it's so much fun. Just putting a tweet out, by the way. Let everyone know I'm booking Backlash, so if they want to jump on the stream. Um, okay. So let's do Ray and Batista. Unfortunately, Batista's pops too low to give him the win, but um, let's make it a flash pinfall so Batista doesn't look like too bad.
Um, we're going to have some space on this card as well. So we could probably have um, maybe Ryback and Mason Ryan. Maybe they should uh, squash a team. Uh, Mike Bennett, bring him in for a match. Um, we let Red Flag go, didn't we? Yeah. Road Warrior Animal. Oh, it'd be cool if we had Adam on Heidenreich just for a night and have, the, have them get destroyed. Snitsky. Okay. We had Snitsky and Animal for a night. <laughs> Apparently he's retired. Well, uh, not tonight, you know. Just so they lose... Um, to Mason Ryan and, and uh, because they're two big dudes, so if Ryback and Ryan destroy them, um, that'll help them out. Like that'll make them look good, I, I think. Um, should I keep Ray and Batista going? Maybe Batista. Attacks Ray afterwards. Give something for both guys to do for a bit. Uh, okay, so we've got that. Um, we've got to do Cena and Henry and the main event. So we'll just start with Shawn Michaels as well, like maybe just have him cut a promo on Triple H. Because Shawn Michaels won't be competing on this show for the belt. That'll be the next pay per view, the SmackDown pay per view. So Shawn Michaels can do that. Batista handshake. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're going to have him turn. Yeah. Should he turn? What's his gimmick? Animal? Yeah, cool. Um, should he turn? Yeah, fuck it. Handshake. Alright, so we did that. Uh, we can do hype video, John Cena, Mark Henry. Now, most likely, Randy's, Randy's going to win. So we need a baby face to challenge Orton next, so Cena can be that guy. And then we'll do John Morrison. Randy on Hype video. So we've still got 44 minutes. So we might do a special entrance. Special entrance for uh, Randy Orton. Because I was going to think, okay, you could do an entrance for... Morrison, but why would Raw do a special entrance for a SmackDown guy? Like, that makes no sense. So, do a special Randy Orton entrance. And because this is the last match between the two, we can maybe put a gimmick on it. What about Last Man Standing? Like, this is it. Like, Last Man Standing, Randy and John Morrison. John Morrison. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, where is he? Okay, never mind. Um, so what? I, I just thought of something as well with Jack Swagger. 
So maybe like Matt Hart, because since Dolph Ziggler cheated, um, maybe Matt Hardy tries to attack Dolph Ziggler. You now, is he going to be revenge? But then um, Jack Swagger can make his return and save Dolph from the attack. And that could be a way we can reintroduce Jack. And since it's on a pay per view, it might help his pop just a little bit. Oh, yeah, it's going to be last man standing. Sorry. Can you give Kendrick a win on the pre show? That's about it. That's all I can really offer. John Morrison. Randy Orton. Last man standing. World title on the line. He's your winner. Wouldn't that turn Matt Hardy heel? Well, no, because let's say Dolph Ziggler ha you know, uses his ropes, uses the ropes or the tights to cheat. You know, and Matt Hardy, you know, he's frustrated. Like, you know, Babyface can attack heels after they cheat. They've got an excuse. You know, slap Ziggler around a little bit after cheating. Jack Swagger comes in and, and beats the shit out of Matt Hardy. That you were in a last man standing match before. Oh yeah. What should we do then? Cena and Randy confrontation to close the show. Yeah, we got a bit of time. We could definitely do that. Um. I quit match. I don't really like I quit matches that much, but we could. You know what? An I quit match would actually work because our promo that Morrison had was basically saying he's not going to, you know, he's doing this for the fans. He's not going to give up for the fans. He wants this so badly. So Morrison has no choice but to quit. So basically the Bayface quits on the fans type of thing. That could work. So we'll do that. And just to advance... It's just so this it makes sense in the storyline. We'll put Cena in this Morrison storyline. What's the plan for Morrison after losing? Uh, Morrison will, will uh, start looking to challenge for the W title over on SmackDown. Post-match stare down or something. So Randy and John Cena can have a, a bit of a stare down after with the match. You should have Morrison win. Uh, Morrison's on SmackDown. Randy Orton's on Raw. It makes zero sense for him to win. Um, one more match, get a bit more time. Maybe. Hmm. Give the tag match a bit more time, one more minute. So that's three hours of show to book, done. Um, and then maybe we'll throw the, some women on the pre show Nikki and Bree. Oh, that's right. We've got. To, I haven't turned brands off yet for this. Well, that's all right. We can use some of the other women to lose. Hey, Melissa and Angelina can take a loss. Just a whatever match. Just a something to do. Get some more women on the card. Someone wanted me. Someone wanted Brian Kendrick to have a match. I'll give him one. Um, this would be better if I turn brands back on. Kendrick can have a match against Raven. I haven't used him for a bit, have I?
Raven's a bit unhappy, that's a shame. Alright. I think that's the paint be done. No, that's okay, Bic. You don't have to make a thread. Potential double turn for Triple H and Michaels. They already double turned. Silky, thank you very much. Can see the difference with Rennings' this paper. So much more time. Nothing being cut. Yeah, exactly. We got everyone who deserves to be on the paint view on Raw gets to be on the paint view. We get all our big matches covered. It works well. I'm happy. I, I'm, I think it's a good move going forward. And um, I think it's still going to be a strong pay-per-view. I think Orton and Morris will have a killer match. I really do. So it's an I quit match. It should be good. Cena and Henry might be near 90. Tista and Ray probably 88, 87. Yeah, it should be a good card. Alright, so I'm going to screenshot it so you guys can predict alongside with me what we're going to get for each match. I think... I think we're going to hear a 93 rated show. That's my prediction. I think, oh, think maybe you're pushing Chris Saban in this mod since you pushed Shelly and you see them save. Pushing them together as a tag team. They're not going to be singles at all. Have Punk, after Punk's feud with Truth, have Morrison say Punk's brainwashed Mercury. Yeah, you could do that. Turn Triple H heel and Punk face soon. Potentially. Morrison should feud with Miz after this feud with Yeah, I think I think that's probably the best option for both guys. To try and elevate the Miz, keep Morrison relevant with some wins, most likely. I think that's probably the best move. Alright, so Bella Twins and Angelina and Melissa, just a whatever match to get them on the card. Um yeah, it turned to be okay. 66 to Bellas were a lot better though. They're performing better actually. They're normally in the fifties, that's in the sixties, so that's solid. Kendrick and Raven. 66 with Kendrick 65. First match of the card, the main card, broken Matt Hardy versus Dolph Ziggler. United States Championship is on the line. Um, both guys have 81 pop, 80, 81 pop, so this could be anything from 80 to 90. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say 87. I think this should be a good match. So let's have a look. It is going to be a 86, ooh, close. Matt Hardy, 84, Ziggler, 86. Ziggler defends his US title for the first time by cheating a little bit. Okay, not bad. Interesting. Lack of psychology, okay, so that's a slight issue. But to get 86, that's cool. I'm happy with that. We then had Jack Swagger come in and tack. Uh, by the way, the next match will be Natalia and Michelle. Get your predictions ready. We had Jack Swagger came in, attacked Dolph Ziggler. And, uh, sorry, he attacked Broken Matt Hardy with Dolph Ziggler. Good way to return Jack Swagger. You reaffiliate Ziggler and Swagger together. Will we keep that? I don't know. But um, Matt Hardy gets beaten down, advances the storyline a little bit further, gets Jack Swagger back on the card, helping him out just a little bit. Uh, Natalia and Michelle. Um, that should be pretty decent. I think I might hit 73, 73. The women have been surprising me. They've been performing a lot better as of late. I have no idea why. So I'm, I think that's going to surprise me. I'm going to go 73. He thought Ziggler would do better. Ziggler did 86. That's pretty solid for where he's at. Oh, Cena promo. And then the women's match. Wow, 81? What the hell? Oh, they have good chemistry. Okay. 81 for a women's match for Raw? Far out. Okay. 73 for Natalia. 67 by Michelle McCool. 81 overall. Layla did some good work. Damn. The women on both brands are doing pretty well. Shit. Like, they only got 60 pop, guys. Like, like... Michelle 61, 62, Natalia 63. To get an 81 is pretty insane, really. God. Gold Justice versus Machine Guns next up. We had the, the Lay Cool beatdown. 72. So that's where they're more at with the beatdown. That's probably where the match should have, well, I expected to be. 72. Michelle McCool, remind me to, to tweak her gimmick, someone. 
the women doing something useful once. Yeah, they're, they've improved. They're doing a lot better. So Gold Justice versus Machine Guns. I think, um... Well, this is a bit of a wild card match because the Machine Guns are so good. They can hit 80s. Gold Justice are okay, but they're more mid-60s. So this could be anything from 65 to 85. It's hard to predict. So I'm going to go in the middle. I'm going to go 76. I'll go in the middle. Can you keep the belt on Natty, please? I will uh, give Natty a bit more time with the belt. What happens when all your superstars hit 90 pop? Well, you turn the game off knowing that you're a TW superstar. So I'm going to say 76 for this match. 78. So like I said, it could have been anything from 65 to 85. Shelly, 92. Chris Saban, 89. Hurricane, 70 and seemed off his game. I'd like to see him on his game. Gold Dust, 64. 78 rated match. That's very good. For both parties there, that will help out big time. And see, this is the beauty of the brand split. Uh, brand exclusive pay views Because this match would never have happened on pay view so now you get the brand exclusive pay view, you get these guys on the card, maybe it'll help their popularity, I don't know. Next up, Rey Mysterio versus Batista. Hmm. I think I said earlier on 88, I'm going to stick by that, I'll say 88 for this one. Um, Alright, so let's do, it. let's do it, got a promo in between, Batista 87, that's promising, quite promising. Batista potential face turn, yeah, yeah, so that'll help. So I'm going to say 88 for this one. You guys saying, some of you guys think 90s, jeez. Matthew says 95, 82 low heat. Um, I don't think it has low heat. Let's have a look. 93, oh my god, I was wrong. I was wrong. Big match Ray. Jeez. 95 by Rey Mysterio. 95. Batista, though, this is the promising thing. 85. This guy has been underperforming for months. He hits an 85. Thank God. That is... That is... That's a good sign for Batista, that he might be back. He might be back to his best. Thank God. I don't know how they hit that, guys. 93. I don't know. But... Be Rey Mysterio, what a legend. Um, next up, right back in Mason Rye vs. Road War Animal Gene Sissy. I'm going to say that hits 45. That's a dud. I know it's a dud, but it's it has a purpose. So we did that match right, and then we'll do Batista shaking Rey Mysterio's hand, and we'll do the turn. Now, I'm a little bit worried about this turn. I don't think I think it's been a while since we've done a flash turn, like a, a turn out of nowhere. But... Let's try it. So Batista turning. Success. Yes. Brilliant. So Batista turns face. That'll give us Rey Mysterio and Batista as a, t a team. The plan, I think, is to have Batista and Rey team up. Beat Edge and Christian for one portion of the tag team titles. They take them back to Raw. That gives us a Raw tag team championship belt. Probably the world tag titles, I'd say. Um, that gives that for Raw. And these two could be tag team champions for a period of time. And I think it's always cool to see. I like Batista and Ray as a team. I think it's a cool combination. So this dud match between the Animal and Stitsky, two guys were just brought in versus Ryan and, and Ryback. 47. Road Rory Animal, 46. Gene Stitsky, 39. Hey, Gene performed above his pop. Mason Ryan, 52. Ryback, 50. Okay. It served its purpose. John Cena versus Mark Henry is next up. Shawn Michaels promo, 90 on Triple H. Very good. And then we had a 93 hype video for Cena and Henry. Wow. That's insanely high for this feud. Shit. Mysterio vs. Shawn Michaels. Oh, that'd be, that'd be damn good. Mm, really good. Probably a ladder match where Edge and Christian draw with Rey Mysterio and Batista, where one team pulls down the world tag and the other team pulls down the W tag. That would be perfect, but I don't know how you would book that in TW. Um, 
but yes, that is a perfect scenario to do that. So you guys think in 95, 94, 96? Um... I'm going to say 93. The pipe video got 93, so I'm hopeful that it might hit 93. It's big match John. John Cena can pull out the big performances. Mark Henry's not too bad either. So let's have a look. 92. Nice. 92. Cena, 95. Henry was good though, 89. So he performed above his popularity. Cena a little bit above his too. Nice. Very nice. 18 minute match. So perhaps the fact it was a little short. Yeah, a little bit short. Cost us just a touch. But I didn't want to go too much longer because Mark Henry, yeah, penalized for stamina. So Mark Henry doesn't have the ability to go much longer than, you know, 18, 20 minutes. You know, around about that mark is about his cap. So I didn't want to go too much further. Open Mark Henry's Hall of Pain off this loss. Yeah, so Mark Henry, he said he wanted to duck Cena in the Hall of Fame. Didn't work. Well, not Hall of Fame. Hall of Pain. Didn't work, but Henry can kind of rebound from that loss. Just kind of go on a bit of a rampage. Maybe he'll feud with Kane, destroy Kane. Maybe someone else, but um, what I might do though, you could have Mark Henry feud with some mid-card guys, have like a bunch of mid-carders in a feud with Henry, and he just he just dominates the mid-card, runs through the mid-card, eventually you might have a top bay face come after him, but maybe Henry working with some of the mid-card names might help to elevate them a little bit. We'll go with that. 92 though, really good. Main event! Morrison and Orton. Will we see another 100 between these two men? They have been super superstars in this series. Will we see them perform the big one again? Ooh, it's possible. Are we going to see some of these bad boys, guys? Can we get a 100 hype in the chat? Will we see that hundo? Please. Morrison and Morrison and uh, Orton 93 for the hype video. We had a spectacular Orton entrance to follow it, which got 90. Come on. Can we hit 100? Can we hit 100? Randy Orton, John Morrison, it is an I quit match. I'll happy, I'm happy to say, look, can we get... Look, if we get... Um, 99, I'll be happy. 98, yeah, I'll be satisfied. Anything less than that, I'll be disappointed. But can these two pull it out again? Morrison and Randy Orton, you have spoiled it. How have I spoiled it? I haven't, I haven't seen it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, so let's have a look. Um, Randy Orton and John Morrison. Oh, 99! No! So close! So close! Come on! Just give me the 100! Just give it! Randy Orton 100, 95 for Morrison. Pretty good chemistry left for the match. Good storyline heat. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I was about to put the music on. The Morrison music was about to play. Uh, look, 99. Look, you can't be disappointed 99, let's be honest. Alright. Nice work, Randy. 100, Morrison 95. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Didn't quite get what we were hoping for, but you'll take it. The stare down between Cena and Orton at the end was fantastic. 100 as well. Um, very good. And that will start that, that feud off there with a bit of a bang. Well, not really because we have to kind of stop the Morrison feud and restart it. But, you know, that's fine. It gives us some hope that it'll help well. But the good news about that is having that segment there, a 100 rated segment at the end, Segments like that on a pay view really, really boost your popularity quite big time. So there's a big opportunity there for Cena and Orton to gain a lot of pop from that. So um, that's a p good potential. Overall show, what are you guys thinking? Uh, 99 rated show. We had a couple of good matches between. I think we might hit uh, 95. 95 rated show. The Berry Match of Legends. That match won't affect the pay-per-view rating. That, um, you, that's why you can do undercard and mid-card matches 
without affecting um, a rating because they only really take care about your top three matches on the card. So that little job squash match won't really affect it at all. I'm thinking 95. It could hit 96 as well with that 100 uh, rated segment at the end, 99 rated uh, matchup. Potential to go big. Let's have a look. It is 96. Ooh. First brand exclusive pay view, and he hit a 96. Now, yes, we did have a SmackDown guy on there, but let's be honest. We had a live band or that celebrity or whatever the crap. It would have been 100, you know, but we didn't do that because I don't want to do that unless it's for a big four. But um, 96 rated pay view for your first brand exclusive. A bit more of a challenge to see how you go after this, these two, first two pay-per-views are done because that will be your first actual exclusive without any um, cross-brand matches. But 34 increase in, in uh, popularity in regions. Randy Orton can get some praise. Um, John Cena and Ray can have some praise too. Oh, good. 96 though. That's, that's solid. I'm happy with that. And now we've obviously got Cena and Orton coming up next, which is big. Um, that's that's very big, and I think that's going to do really really good business as well. Teenage trying to get Chris Jericho, and they've stopped. <laughs> um, so Backlash got a 3.06 buy rate. You take that. You take that. So let's take a look at the popularity changes. This is going to be exciting. Have we made some success with these popularity changes? All right. So let's have a look. Anyone in the ring? All right, so Shelly got a victory. No real change. Batista. Batista went from 81 to 85, 6, 7, and 4-ish, 3. Yeah, so 2, 3, 4, 5 popularity boost from the turn. Yes, Batista is officially back, boys. Thank goodness. That's better. I'm much happy with that. Batista being 81, just it just doesn't do him justice. He needs to be 90 plus. Um, Matt Hardy, he might have went up a little bit. 82-3. Yeah, he went up despite the loss. It goes to show if you can lose but also win at the same time if you do it right. So yeah, 82. So he went up by two popularity points despite losing. Oh, I should have had a Chris Masters Master Lock Challenge on the show. I forgot to do that. Hmm. Ziggler, he went up as well. So he's about the same as Matt Hardy. So Ziggler and Matt both going up together. No change for Gold Justice. They didn't really do much. Um, Swagger. So Swagger, he was 72 across the board, I believe. So, yep, 72, a couple 73s. Now, one region 78, one region 77, but for the most part, 73, 74. So, him coming back, helping out, doing that angle on pay-per-view really, really helped his um, popularity. So, that's, that's really positive. We need Swagger to get there, too. Cena, up to 93. He was 92. He's now 93 with that victory over Mark Henry. Um, Layla, um, Mark Henry at 87, so that's fine. Mason Ryan up to 51 in some regions with that victory. So what was it, Michelle McCool needed a tweak, did she? Well, we'll tweak that. So Michelle, she's at 63-64. I think she was at 62, was she? Yeah, 60-61. So she's now moved up to 64. That's very positive as well. We really needed that. Um, what about Layla? I mean, she's had a pretty rough time. She basically loses every match. No real change for her. Has Layla won a match? I mean, she's won a couple. Nine wins, 17 losses. That seems about right. Natalia. So Natalia dipped a little bit. So I think Michelle McCool... No, Natalia won, I believe, by DQ. Didn't she? No, Natalia won by... Michelle won by DQ. Oh, I fucked that up. Natalia was about to win by DQ. My bad. Anyways. That's fun. You could have, like, Layla accidentally hit Michelle McCool to give her the win. You could do that. Randy's still a flat 100, of course. 
Rey Mysterio bumped to 92-3. Ryback, 50s. So what was he? Did he go up much with that victory? Well, he went from 46 to 50. So, yeah. Really good. Shawn Michaels didn't wrestle. And that's it. So, overall, you'd say that's a huge success. Nobody really dipped in popularity at all. Everybody went up. And you've got Batista back. Swagger's done well. Ziggler and Hardy did really well. Rey Mysterio went up a little bit. That's a that's a huge, huge success. Only really Natalia went down. That was a mistake on my behalf. But at the end of the day, Natalia will probably beat Michelle McCool clean. So it won't really matter. She'll get her pop back. But that's 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 awesome. That's awesome. You should boost Swagger's pop. I discussed that earlier. I don't think so. Um, yeah, that was successful. That's it. Very successful. Next up, we have Judgment Day, which is in three weeks' time. So we've got week four, week one, and week two, and then Judgment Day. And that's a SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view. And that will be where Triple H and Shawn Michaels will have their rematch for the World Heavyweight title. And I think that's going to hit 100. I really believe Shawn Michaels, Triple H, and the rematch with the storyline here that it has, 94 plus. It was 100. It dipped down a little bit. But 94, we might be able to get that up a, get a bit more. That should hit 100. I think that's where Big Match Sean, Five Star Sean, sorry, will uh, hit another five star match. He's already hit 400s in the series. Are you kidding me? 400s by Shawn Michaels. He's a freak. He shouldn't retire. Oh, that's actually unbelievable when you think about it. That's actually insane. But yeah, I think that could hit another 100. TNA had a show. Oh, Lockdown. Let's compare. Lockdown. So we had a. 96, TNA had a uh, 82. Scott Steiner beat Kurt Angle for the TNA World Heavyweight title. TNA, what are you doing? You're going backwards. You gave it to Matt Morgan. Matt Morgan got injured. Now you're giving it to Scott Steiner. Are you serious? You're going backwards. Backwards. 86 rated match, sure, but come on. Really? Scott Steiner getting the push. He's getting heading up to the 80 mark. Eventually, Scott Styles and Triple X. Uh, not AJ. Not, I say Scott Styles. AJ Styles. Uh, beat Lethal Consequences and Amazing Red. That was a good match. Probably the best on the card. 83. Desmond Wolf beat James Storm. Some Nigel McGuinness for the TNA Global. Jeff Hardy, Lashley, and Eric Young beat Abyss and Ender to suicide for 78. Lita. She's still the the Knockouts champion. That was almost one of the better matches of the card. 283. Matt Seidel, that dickhead, beat uh, De Niro for the X Division title. So they gave Matt Seidel a title. So he's now the X Division champion for the first time. Okay, interesting. So Elijah Burke no longer the champion. Regal beat Jesse Neal. Sharkboy beat Doug Williams. Jeff Jarrett beat Dina, Stevie, and Jethro. Damn, Jeff Jarrett's working the, the opening match. Damn. Can't book himself into the main event this time. And, um... Tavari beat Magnus. 82 rated show. So TNA, yeah, look, so let's have a look. They they had Matt Morgan as champion, right? So Matt Morgan, so Styles was champion for over a year. It had this historic reign. Matt Morgan gets a three-month reign. He gets injured, and they give it to Scott Steiner to follow it up. I don't know, man. I just feel like that's a bad move by TNA. But, you know, could have gave it to Jeff Hardy. Even Umaga was in Umaga even on the card. Is he even wrestling? Yeah, he wrestles every now and then. You know, I probably should have given back to Styles, really. Maybe Lashley. Maybe even Angle. Angle's only 42. Interesting move from TNA, anyways. Sana's math did not lie. That's true. This is why people don't watch TNA. Yeah. Um, Stein knows how to, how to have five star matches with math. Mm. Kent apparently turned in Japan. You could have Kent on our roster, but I probably wouldn't use him very well, to be honest. Alright, so not much else to really check out there. So, um, we'll be back tomorrow, yeah. So we'll do another stream. I'd say same time tomorrow, maybe a little bit early, depending on if I go to bed on, on time or not. But um, same time tomorrow, we'll come back, and I don't know if we'll get to Judgment Day. Maybe I'll book a week or two. If I book a week's worth of shows off stream, 
then we'll get to Judgment Day and we'll do another pay per view tomorrow. SmackDown's pay per view, which I think will be really cool to do. Because I want to know how Shawn Michaels and Triple H is going to go. I think that's going to be interesting. All right, I think that's going to do us for today, guys. Thank you for coming along to the stream. Thank you to everyone who donated the bits. Thank you to our new followers. We're on the road to 6K. If you haven't already, hit that follow button for me. And uh, if you have a Twitch Prime, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If not, you can subscribe anyways. Um, this video will be available to watch on the replay on my channel uh, tonight, or in the morning, I should say, for you guys. And um, I'll be back with more videos as well today. So check that out. Follow me on Twitter, at Play, so you don't miss a stream from me. And uh, have yourselves a great rest of your night, and I'll go ahead and uh, enjoy my day, because it's only um, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so i got all day. That's the beauty of being Australian, I guess, streaming in the morning. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.